Hello and welcome to the Computer Game Show. My name's David Turner. I'm here with Sean Bell. Hello. Matt Murray. Hello. And James Farley. Hello. How are we all doing? Uh, let's start the show by thanking our Patreon producers. Do you reckon we should do that? Mm. Yeah, we probably we should. It's, yeah. it's about all they get for their money, so let's do it. It's the full Nels <laughs> crew. Yeah, but I mean, that's worth every penny. Being part also, of the full that's Nels crew. True. That's not true, Sean. Like, you also get no, the I know they get the other stuff. You also get everything else we do, yeah. <laughs> but I'm yeah, just saying, it'd be, it'd be pretty shocking if we didn't, like, didn't even bother to read their names out, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll do that at the end. Uh, no, we do it right <laughs> at the front because they're the most important people. Yeah. Full Nels, Aaron Patrick, Simon Nelson, Tom S, Jack Oven, Moomin Biscuit, Richard Sawyer, Dave Ernsberger, Colin Brown, Gazman, Gabby Pereira, and Mad Hands Gruber, a new Full Nels member. Yeah, Look mate. at this. You know when you walk into a, like a dodgy pub and everyone puts their beard down and looks you, looks at you, gives you a dirty look as you walk in? That's not like that with a full Nels crew. They all look at you and put their arms around you, give you a great big hug and say, welcome to the team. <laughs> We're the fucking best team in the world. Um, and then everyone cheers and they clink their glasses and there's no social distancing, which is a bit dodgy really. But then the police show up, try to find everyone and go, well, hold on, are you full Nels? And they go, yeah. And they go, okay, forget the fine. And we'll pay it. We'll pay it. Yeah, we'll pay you can it. actually. Oh, you are the best. Yeah, we don't. We never yeah. really mentioned this as one of the perks of being a, a full Nelson member. But yeah, you're you can get away with any crime. Yeah, yeah you're <laughs> you can get one, away with any crime. One free murder a year. Yeah, yeah. Do you, you know the top priority group for vaccinations was actually full Nelson? They didn't announce that. <laughs> that was all quiet, and they they yeah. just got contact. Yeah, you, you, know, you, so. you might have seen uh, people on Twitter being like, "Man, you know, I'm like, I'm in my late twenties. I've got no underlying health conditions, and I've got the letter saying I can get my vaccine." Yeah, that's a full Nelson <laughs> member. Yeah, it's a full that's Nels member. It's it. at the bottom, <laughs> full Nels, and there's a wink it emoji next to it. It's <laughs> what, what, a, what a strange thing to get an official uh, letter from the NHS. Isn't yeah, it? Next it's slide, please. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, okay, should we get straight on to uh, the feedback from last week's show, Matt? They'll yes. love it. Uh, mm, Good. Uh, Calvin Rice Cooker has contacted us. Imagine the excitement <laughs> the next time you see soldiers at the motorway services, now knowing that one of them could be Matt Morley. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> very true, Calvin. That'd be great if if the memes were to, you know, collide. That'd be awesome. Also, please, Dave, for the love of Jeff Keeley, enough for the PS5 stock stories. The same rehashed anecdotes for what feels like 84 years. Right. Okay, tell you what, Calvin, you send me an email, mate, every Sunday night. Let me know what we can fucking talk about on the show and we'll 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 uh we'll base it all around you then. Is that is that what you want? Um, I know that's what you want, but you're not that's not what you're getting. What I'm what I did was say is that what you want and that ruined my whole little argument then, <laughs> you, didn't it? You're taking this very well, I'm not you, this is going yeah. <laughs> I said, well, well, you, yeah, there'll be no more stories about me trying to get a PS five because I fucking got one. How about that? Stick that up your fucking nose, Calvin. You well, no, no. I mean, I think it's still interesting. You can still like regale us with stock stories, and doesn't no, just because you've got them doesn't mean you're out of game. With the community, There's no need. I'll tell you, well, I'll tell you what, Dave. I'll tell you what. A monthly update. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Every time you mention the PS5 stock issues, I get a little token that I can cash in to talk about Sea of Thieves whenever I want. No, okay, you <laughs> wait, wait, no, 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 more, stop this. no, no more stock. So, no more stock. Yeah. Wait, hold on. I've got about yeah. eighty-four in the bank, then, right? No, no, no. It doesn't work that way. No. <laughs> it starts now how about Sean yeah. next week yeah. you start trying to get a PS5 and then, <laughs> then you can get you and can you just get to see a news I must admit I must have spoken about it way more than I was aware of because there's been people in like Rollmuck and all uh, different places saying ah oh, the saga's finally over you finally got one and I thought it wasn't that bad like it was what, <laughs> it, it was about a, a month and a half of me saying oh, I haven't got one yet I, that's how it was in my head. I mean, so there maybe was a lot I did tweet about, about it. There was a lot of tweets and a lot, lot of WhatsApp PS5 messages, at? and you know, there yeah. was, was quite a lot. Was there? Okay, yeah. maybe I was more obsessed about it than I realised. Oh, yeah. but, oh, um, go I'm fuck yourself, Calvin. Right next. <laughs> TCGS.corrections. On last week's show, James stated that the new Games Master TV program 
should again be presented by Dexter Fletcher, as he's probably free. This is incorrect, as he's now a successful and highly sought-after film director, who in his last few years has worked on the Academy Award-winning Bohemian Rhapsody, the Academy Award-winning Rocketman, and will soon be directing a third Sherlock Holmes movie starring Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law. <laughs> I did think, you know, when that came up, I was thinking, like, I'm sure he's he's a big success now but i couldn't remember why so i didn't didn't challenge james on it but yeah i mean i'm sorry i just i was not aware of the career trajectory of uh dexter fletcher i've not been following his well, career okay, well, so think about it before yeah. Yeah. smacking the bloke like, off on a podcast maybe don't start on anything until you know or have read their entire imdb <laughs> did <laughs> exactly did dexter fletcher send this in do you think <laughs> yeah. 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 hang on hang on it says it worked on these things that could mean anything yeah. Well, wasn't I mean, the Bohemian Rhapsody situation a bit weird? Wasn't he like brought in to fix it or something? Wasn't someone else direct it? And then I can't remember. There was a. Well, is he like the film equivalent of Handy Andy? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Wow, that's a reference. <laughs> <laughs> it is a reference. Well done. Good it's for a very old it. reference. Yeah, there, Matt. <laughs> you right, you can mention not, Charlie Demick, not all or? of us try and pretend to be young, Matt. You know what I mean? <laughs> Some <laughs> people are graceful way. and getting old. <laughs> what do you mean? Handy Andy. That's a, that's Who's like Handy nine, Andy? Like changing rooms, wasn't it, from the nineties? Changing room, yeah, changing rooms. That was, yeah, we were alive in the nineties, Matt, and Just so about. were you. Yep, and we had <laughs> televisions. If you're listening to this, thinking, "Oh, Matt's," I can relate to Matt. <laughs> you can't. He's he's <laughs> heading towards you know his fourties. Call <laughs> <laughs> Always gets a laugh. Postman, uh, right? Okay. Postman Patricio. I've listened for a few years now, and I've loved every single episode you've released. I've oh, also wow. been trying to figure out something about James Farley for about as long. Great. Following his recommendation, I purchased Yakuza <laughs> Zero a while back. But, yeah. like David and Sean, I bounced off it hard. The main yep. reason was up because the character of Kazuma Kiryu did not live up to the Kiryu. hype. Mm. He wasn't... Oh, so, what did I say? I don't know what that was. Just continue going. <laughs> <laughs> you say it then, James. What? The surname. You say the, the character's name. Go on. Kazuma Kiryu. Like that, yeah. Sounded um, very, very similar. I think you're being a bit harsh on that there. No, no, I, just, I read this email and I'm just feeling fed up. So go on. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I'm right. off to a flyer yeah. tonight. <laughs> you guys, watch anyway, out. The main reason watch was out. We're walking that on man here. did not live up to the hype. He wasn't the dragon of Dojima that James fell in love with. And wanted right. James... to tattoo on his back. He proved about as fun as a wet tea towel. All he did was furrow his brow while strutting around in flashy trousers. My uncle used to do the same thing and he doesn't wasn't, definitely wasn't revered around the Wolverhampton nightclubs. So last week it all made sense when David called Pollocks on James for a fusing cheeky anime tat. I'm now almost certain that the appeal of the Yakuza series for James can be brought down to the countless hostesses uh, clubs around Camarucho. I would love to see Matt design a bar graph of the hours James spent in these clubs versus actually mainlining the otherwise dull game. Keep up the great work. <laughs> he's calling you a pervert, James. It's that, a bit that, he's, he's, also, he's also trying to dive like uh, on dive onto your like bandwagon as well of like just saying, Oh, it's it's really rubbish, isn't it? This eighty six rated Metacritic game is really boring <laughs> and everything that everyone else loves, but Dave doesn't, so I'm just gonna get on with him. But uh, and yeah, no, and to, to I, be I clear, you love Metacritic so much, James. To be <laughs> only when it chimes in with you know what 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 a point it was. Well, obviously, yeah. Um, Wait, so anyone that doesn't anyone that doesn't enjoy the game is jumping on a bandwagon, are they? No, no, because the thing is, right, is this podcast is overwhelmingly negative against Yakuza, right? Everyone is always... You're always having a go <laughs> Wait, at me James, about no, it. On, James, you on. can't accuse what? this podcast of being overwhelmingly negative <laughs> okay, towards I anything, accuse, mate. I can accuse you of being overwhelmingly negative towards it because you're just trying to wind me up all the time. And I know that's what's no, going on. because I didn't enjoy it. I mean, he's got you there, Dave. I d- well, okay, I might wind him up a little bit, but I genuinely didn't enjoy it. I don't, I don't care. Understand I don't care what... if you enjoyed it or not. It's fine. I don't it care if this like person you do did or care, not. Though, James. No, what annoys I mean, me you could... is is this okay. is like oh forget it. Go on. No, go on. Go on. It sounds like you do care, but go no, on. No, I don't care. I don't care. Just go on. Whatever. Go on. It's already ruining his evening. Let's. All right. To, uh, to you be clear, I never. Sean, you I can't never... have a rant like that and then say that you don't care about it, right? That's that's you. Can't, you can't do that, surely. He just, Jumping he, on the bandwagon. Not that I it's care. Not, it's not that he doesn't care. It's just he's, he's realizing that continuing to make his point is going to lead him down a dark path, and he's not in the mood for it, which is fine. Okay, that's um, fine. That's and just to enough. be clear, I never bounced off it. It's just on uh, uh, like the hiatus. Sean, um, why will you never admit 
No, do you know what? Do you know what happened? Do I don't think I don't, I don't think I ever addressed this. So what, so what happened was I did eventually try and go back to it, but it was that thing of you know when you try and get back into quite a massive game after being away from it for about six months, and I just had no clue what was going on. So I have since because this was playing it on the PS4. I've since downloaded it on the Xbox, and I want to. I do want to try again. It's um, not going to get done. It might. It's not going to get done. It Matt. might. It might. It won't. One day. It won't. Why don't you just admit that you didn't quite enjoy it as much as you initially thought, and that kind of soured the experience of going, like the thought of going back to it, right? No, because th- there was plenty of stuff I loved about it. It was just uh, no, no, I don't know. I don't know what happened. But <laughs> one <laughs> other day, than, you're other than admit. I stopped playing it. Um, Have you tried it, Matt? No, I'm constantly thinking about it. <laughs> you know, as in, like, I should give it a go. Never. We played um, Judgment, not- didn't you? Bit of it. Uh, yeah, I played with Judgment. I really enjoyed it, and then you know stopped because it's whatever other things are happening. But I, I be like, <laughs> this everyone is brilliant. Everyone it seems to be a regular yeah, because theme. This is the problem. These are. Oh, I don't want to get into this. Please, can we just move on? Please, I can't <laughs> do this this evening. But, 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 but I, I do, and like someone's, I think, oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it, and not tell anyone, and I say, James, I finished Yakuza Zero because everyone says it's amazing. Um, but okay, uh, just answer me this question, question, James. How how long is the game? Is it like a six or seventy hour game, or is it actually you, you can, can probably do it in like. You can mainline it in about thirty hours, like tops. Okay, so it's but not if you a... get into the hostess clubs, <laughs> all the real estate trading. What's your point? All the real estate trading. What's your? Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, no, How that, many that hours do you spend on them, James? That is an unfair and reductive joke. There's like tons of interesting side stuff, right? Everyone says like the side stuff is really funny and weird, and that's sort of where a lot of the charm is. All right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, just, I mean, just you press X a lot. Oh, okay. I mean, just to clarify, Yakuza oh, Zero is just... the one to start off on, oh. James. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that, was was that my... Sorry, James. Was that you not caring? <laughs> <laughs> is that the sound of you not caring? <laughs> please, can we move on, please? I just yes. you you cannot do question, this this James. evening. Would you agree Yakuza Zero is the one to start on, though? Yes. Good. Okay, let's move on. Garrison Savannah. While playing Monster Hunter the other night, I dipped into the Nintendo Direct Talk server and was surprised to ha- see some Xenoblade Chronicles trailer. Um, however, a quick look at Dave's mix of resignation and disgust, and James giggling revealed the truth. This can be uh, only be pro- this can only be the prophesized Smash segment that everyone loves so much. When I watched the rest of the Direct later, I was pretty underwhelmed, apart from Monster Hunter, which you already knew about, and Skyward Sword, which I'm generally looking forward to. After getting a new PC last year, I replayed Wind Waker and the GameCube version of Twilight Princess on emulation, where I could actually get them looking better than the Wii U HD remakes. I couldn't do a Skyward Sword because of the motion controls. Looking forward to playing this again with a pro controller. Hopefully they have gotten the motion control sorted. Really enjoyed the abundance of content last week. A pod, talks over, and bonus show. Keep up the good work. And I hope you're all doing as well as can be expected. That's, I mean, that's a point. Thanks very much for that. We, we um, uh, I didn't mention it right at the start of the show, but we had our bonus show out this week and we did our live in the cuisining panel yeah, quiz, which was very dramatic. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, if you'd like to see them, go to patreon.com forward slash TCGS and sign up to the different tiers. You know, it all explains what you're getting. You could just be getting the bonus show or you could be getting the live shows as well, or you could be full nils. Um But yeah, that, the, the, yeah, in the cuisining was, I mean, a huge step forward in production <laughs> as well as drama. So it, was, it was quite something. Um, and I, uh, I'll, I'll give away a little thing that we did on our bonus podcast this week. We all found out two facts about each other that we <laughs> never knew, and we found that out in quite an interesting way. So if you want to find out some weird shit about us, uh, yeah, then listen to if this week's bonus. If you want to totally show. rethink what you thought about certain members of this podcast, <laughs> yes. then listen Yeah, let's not say who. who we, everything, yeah. Yeah. everything will be very different from... Before the time we started the podcast, yeah, it's a massive readjust your view yeah. of that Everything person. Everything you thought, put it away in the bin because it's something new happening now. <laughs> anyway, um, so if it was there a question? I don't know if there was a question, but thank. Oh no, it's not question, so didn't mean to be a question. It's not the. It's not the. Uh, it's Jordan, not the hey, <laughs> recently joined a patron of the Be Natural tier. I don't know actually yeah. what tier that is. Uh, just wanted to say, I'm currently in pain from laughing at this month's bonus show. I can barely breathe. Uh, there's a bit of a spoiler I'm not going to mention there. Uh, keep on the amazing uh, work. Look, keep on amazing work. Looking forward to hearing Dave's thoughts on the Astro Bot tech demo. 
I'm sure we will. Yeah, yeah, that's coming up. That's coming up in a little bit later. Summer Haze. Hello, lads. I'm a big fan, but I've got to say some con- com- some comments on the show recently have disappointed me. I've actually been meaning to write this email for a while. I've had uh-huh. a hairline that's been receding since my early 20s. When I was 24, I decided to bite the bullet. I had my head shaved in front of the Tesco I worked uh, in for charity, and I've never gone back. Well, you're more of an Asda man, are you, these days? Uh, it's not Dave in his hair I'm upset with. It's Matt and James. Being bald isn't a curse. It's a privilege. You have joined me in the mighty ranks of bald men. Jason Statham, uh, Dave uh, Bautista, Patrick Stewart. You have a responsibility to carry yourself with the proud swag of a shiny man who is a centre of attention. Baldness is a way of life. Embrace it. See, the thing about that is, is fine. If you want to do that, up to you. Totally fine with that. Personally, I'm not happy with it. And I don't see what, well, I don't see <laughs> well, why yeah, I can't be not happy with it, you know? And and ultimately, anyone who isn't bald can choose to be bald if they want. Yeah, Whereas exactly. if you are bald, you're just bald. You can't choose to have hair again unless you want to get into wigs. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say you should, uh, like, be happy with it. No. Well, that's not my Thanks. point. Thanks, my Dave. point is, my point, my point is don't have <laughs> a go at me for is look getting at my frustrated with my hair. <laughs> No, no, that's not my point. That's that's what's in your brain that you're projecting onto people, James. My point is my hair's a state at the moment and it's annoying, right? And I'm allowed to think that without you going, well, it's luscious locks, isn't it? It's lovely. That's all my point is. Yeah? So sure. Back off, baldy. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I, I just, I just come out. He's got I just come out. Oh, no, he's got me. It's actually, actually, Dave, it's caused by high testosterone levels, actually. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, as we learn on the bonus show, we can <laughs> riddle with it. <laughs> right, okay, come on. Um, oh, yeah, um, more hair chat. Uh, Fred Bernard, re-hair. James and Matt, there's no need to envy David's hair. I have been growing up my locks for two years to celebrate the oncoming 40 years of the young ones in 2022. <laughs> I now look like Michael Planer, and it's no fun. I taste my hair more often now my food. It gets dirt on when I hang upside down from a tree branch, and I can't ride my bike for fear of being scalped alive by the wheels. <laughs> so count your blessings and be happy. You're not, uh, you're not an obsessive fan of the 80s British comedies with long hair. Okay. That's a strange uh, message to get, isn't it? That's yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, yeah, I, 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 I have the choice, you know, to be able to do I, I, that. I just, yeah, I don't know. Like, I realise that Fred has completely explained why he's done it, but also why, why, Fred? <laughs> <laughs> James, as a fellow slaphead, would you rather have? <laughs> would you rather have? I know, I know what. Right, I know what James thought. Then the moment you said that, I know what James' first thought when you said that was. Well, I can grow more hair than you. I guarantee that was his first fault. <laughs> Don't call me a slaphead. I've got more hair than you. Was it, James? It was more shock than anything. It was a <laughs> sentence that I thought I'd never hear someone say to me. But, you know, it, but it happened. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, my question was, would you rather have, you know, hair like that guy from The Young Ones or no hair? Definitely hair. Any hair like that, then you could do something with it. It's, uh, you know, it's great. Well, no, 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 no. The rule is that you had to keep it like yeah. that. It has it's to be like long, that, fucked, like ridiculously long, hippie hair, or yeah. nothing. I'd still rather have ridiculously long. It's fine. Gee. Wow, oh, really? No, I, see, yeah. I wouldn't. I, I would love hair, but if it's that or this, I'll just go this. 100% Matt. Yeah. But then if 100%. it was really long, James could tie it up in a top knot. Like a yeah. no, no, you can't style it. Oh, right, <laughs> it's you can't. That okay. Style. okay. It's, it's either that hair or no hair. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Sean? Uh, no, I'd probably rather stay bald, to be honest. There we go. Let's not ask Dave. He doesn't, he's not <laughs> Sorry, involved Fred. in this. No, I'd rather be bald. 100%. Well, well you weren't involved. So yeah, it's not, you're, not okay. allowed, you're not allowed. Oh, I'd rather be bald. Not allowed in this conversation. Sorry, this is for bald men. It's only for slap only. Okay. I mean, that's the episode title, isn't it? That's the... Slap it's only. only. People won't expect me to be on it, though. <laughs> right, okay, let's, okay, right, let's, let's not, not get... Um, <laughs> Lars Hedderdam. Hey, guys, great show last week. James being the voice in the computer game is brilliant. Laughed my behind off. Surely he would have to be a seductive slash filthy character in a David Cage game. Or the guy yelling, fucking asshole, on the Twitch <laughs> intro. Can James's can James's character, in whatever game he ends up in, say the following? I've just been invited to Smash. <laughs> Go on, James. You want, to, you want me to do that one, yeah? Yes, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I've just been invited to smash. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, wow. Okay. Is that how... <laughs> That was, you really went in a direction. No, 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 I know. I, do you know what happened there, right? Is that went in a direction I wasn't expecting myself. Like, as, as oh, it just took over. The, the whole took, took over. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, who. James, who, after you. Who? Sorry, go on, James. Who were you so thinking what? in your mind when you said that? I don't know. It just sort of happened. Do you know what you're going to hear a lot of in your voice acting career? What? Okay, we've got that. Can we try it again, <laughs> please? <laughs> Can we give that another go, but less weird? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not in that style. Um, Different character. So if... If you don't know what we're talking about, at the end of last week's show, you might not have made it all the way to the end, but at the end of last week's show, we spoke about this new campaign that we want to do to try and get James Farley to be a voice of a character in a video game. I'll be honest with you, this campaign has not started well. We have not had a single DM, email, or mention about it from anyone in a position to make this happen. It's been quite disappointing. Um, We're not going to try and uh, get the fans involved yet, but soon... If we don't hear anything for a few weeks, then we are going to get you all to be tweeting places, go and get James into a video game, right? Like that, This is going to happen. But if you missed that last week and you're in a position to put James, get James to voice a character in a video game, then please get in touch. Uh, go to tcgs.co uh, forward slash dear tcgs in your message please leave a way to contact uh, you back because we've had a few messages on there for various different things um, with no contacts. Um, so we can't actually reply to them. But if you do that, we'll be able to get back to you. And yeah, I mean, we're desperate to get James to voice a character in a video game, 100%. And it, if you just heard his audition just then where he said, I've just been invited to smash, um, he'll be better. I promise we'll train him up once we know what job he's got. We'll help him out. The thing uh, is, so yeah, that please impression did remind me of something. I'm trying to think of the character. But it, oh my god, what? It, it, remi- it, remind, it reminded me of a. It reminded me of something. I can't quite put my put my mind on it. Are you sure, James? There isn't some a character you had in mind when you did what you did. Absolutely no idea. As I said, it just sort of came out not in, as I was intending. I don't know what what that was about. I think it, I think it, I tell you he what, did, it made and me he's think scared of. to tell us now. You know those animations in two um, D um, platformers where you stand near the edge, and yeah. then they oh, do yeah, that yeah. little wobble on one leg as they're falling off. It yeah. sounded like his character was doing that as he was saying that line. <laughs> That's what it sounded like to me. <laughs> I've just been invited to smash. Uh, okay, right, should we move on? Uh, yeah, Ryan Field. There's actually more voice uh, lines now, James, so get get ready. Ryan oh, Field, Come enjoyed on, James. James's voice acting in the last episode, so I've written some extra dialogue for the merchant character. <laughs> Can you please get James to read these out? Line one... Okay, um, so don't, no, don't read them out, Matt. James, you read them out. I'm, I don't want to read these out. They're filth. All of them are filth. No, okay, well, just, just read them, right? That's okay, why nice it's funny, funny, James. It makes a job. <laughs> yeah, but no, no, yeah, but no. Okay, I've, right. I've got standards Everyone's got to here. start somewhere, James. No, but I've got sta- right. No, no, okay. This is like actors that, you know, they ask them to do, like, nude scenes and stuff. And, like, some of them are like, no, they're not doing it's it. nothing like James, that, James. James. Right, James, if we're getting you into a game, you can't be picky. Yeah. If someone <laughs> says you're playing a Nazi, I'm not playing a Nazi. You're supposed to be an actor. You're supposed to get into that role, okay? Yeah. It doesn't matter what they get you you're to say. You're not going to get the lead role, James, straight away. You need yeah, you, to start yeah, here. You're not going to be the hero of the piece. You're not going to be Drake okay. from from that, the Drake game. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Drake right, okay. 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing Drake, nude scenes. Let's, let's, That's what I'm saying. Legacy. Right, okay. Listen, you don't... Oh, right, okay. So me, Sean, and Matt, we're, we're the other side of the glass now. We're working on this game. <laughs> Okay, we're just about to record your lines. Okay, boys, you all right? Yeah, yeah. You all right? Yep. Yeah, I'm quite good, nervous good, for today's session. How you been? You all right? You yeah, not bad. this game? I can't bloody wait for this game. The game's going to be incredible, but it all hinges really on this voice acting. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you, know what? do you know what's happened? The bosses have only got in touch and said they like this podcast, and there's this fella on there that apparently wants to get into game. They've given oh, what, him uh, the role. D- uh, David? What was D- it, David? David, the boss? No. <laughs> What are you no, talking about, Matt? I don't... No, 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 you said on that podcast, but was it was it, it was it David that, that he wants on on this? this oh, game? Yeah, I love right, that no, guy. I've not heard the podcast. No, David, oh, okay. no, 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 I've not. Uh, no, was it, not was it was it Sean? Uh, no. What, no. What's he like? Oh, uh, well, he's also good. But was it Matt? Who's Matt? Okay, so I can't think of any other people on that podcast. But should we move on? Right, well, let's, I don't time. know. Let's open. 
open the door and let the actor in, please. Hello, uh, your name is uh, James Farley, is that correct? What's, are we still doing this? Is What's going on? I don't know what yeah, all that preamble was. This is your audition? No, no yeah, this is not audition. Yeah. This is you no, in this the This is you recording the lines. So have, have you got the lines with you, Mr. Farley? Yeah, but I'm not happy about it. Okay, that's well, fine. It, we don't care. We do we sort of need you to, to say the them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're, we're working on Cyberpunk 2078. <laughs> and we need you for this. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, so if we start with line one, please, Mr. Farley. Greetings, traveller. Would you like me to polish your massive weapon? Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. Decent, that was great. Yeah, that. This is really good. Yeah, you I like that. that before. Like... <laughs> I think that's it. We're going to the pub early tonight, boys. <laughs> uh, if they're open. Um, line two, please, James. Sorry, I nearly laughed then. Okay, let's try again. That's I'm okay. You take this seriously, please. This is yeah. quite... Yeah. This is your this fucking is... job, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Right. Oh, no. oh, we could use that laugh. Yeah, yeah. We'll come... yeah that was yeah. good, actually, yeah. Have we got, have we got that? Yeah, did yeah, did yeah, we, we press that. record? <laughs> and engineer's giving us a thumbs up. Wicked. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> Line two. If we're all in this room, who are we? <laughs> if we're not engineers. <laughs> we're holding the microphone. <laughs> Line two. Hello, traveller. My, what a bulging sack you have. What have you got to sell? Oh, it was touch. Oh, perfect. Two for two. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Okay. You've done this uh, do, Kids are natural. Let's do line three. Straight on to line three. Let's go. This is the worst one. It's like... Oh. Just don't, that's, well, sorry, don't that's not the line. Don't the lines. Yeah, uh, sh- uh, sh- Mr. Bell here wrote that. So. Yeah. <laughs> I was really <laughs> proud of this, actually. Writing. Yeah. Can, can, you, can we... Yeah. Can I, I know, but can, I, can we make some edits to it? No. Absolutely no, you're not. not in position We're very to passionate that. about these lines. Yeah, these have been signed off by JJ Abrams, the president. Yeah, that <laughs> the, pres- the president. Yeah, but no one would ever say this. Like this is you. Can, don't, uh, you don't know what the character's like, sir. Can you just read the? Sean, you can type this Action. shit, but you you know people can't say. Oh, he said shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. This is too much lip. We're taking too much lip from the actor. Get out, right? You've, you're sacked. You're sacked. Get Matt Murray in. Another slap. Matt, Murray, Matt Murray's in the booth. Oh. Let's go. Let's let's move on to the uh, let's move on to the next bit of feedback, shall we? Yes. Uh, Tom S. Hello, chaps. Watching your Nintendo talks over this week, I noticed you're all quite down on it, to say at least. Each of you rating it a four or five out of ten. Personally, I quite enjoyed it and was quite excited about it too. I wonder if it's perhaps a simple case of framing. For example, I was absolutely not expecting any big Zelda announcement. Mario's birthday is still ongoing until March. Uh, so I was quite excited to see anything Zelda. I will concede that the presentation was quite long and therefore there were quite a lot of things not to my personal taste. To help share my framing, I provided my takeaways below. If you consider this pre- a reordered and slimline list, can you really say it's a 4 out of 10? Um, I'm not going to go into all these because it's going to ruin the news. But <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I put this at the end of the feedback so we could neatly segue. Nice. I mean, well, news, we're going to hear yeah. all the announcements anyway, but yeah, yeah. can we say it's 4 out of 10? We'll, we'll find out when we hear that all the announcements were in the news. Uh, I know we waited a long time for this direct, but given that 2020 was basically a year nobody could do anything, I was impressed with this output and was more than enough to scratch my Nintendo itch. Thank you for all the additional content as well as the podcasts. The amount uh, you all do for us is why I'm full now. Thank you, Thomas. Oh, brilliant. He's a yes, full Nels one and you've skipped half of his email. Well done, Matt. Yeah, you've Look, offended one of our... <laughs> he, <laughs> that, you know, the, 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 they can take on shit. They know what we're trying to do. It. It's fine. Thank you, That's Thomas. True. That's appreciate true. Appreciate you. Appreciate the money. Uh, but we're going to skip that bit of the email. <laughs> Mainly the money. No. <laughs> right. Can we move? Let's get, yeah. let's get on to the news then because we uh, will stop. Get, can I, if go you on. want to leave us feedback, sure. go to tcgs.co slash dear tcgs. James, let's get on with it. Yeah, so there was this Nintendo Direct last week, which we did a talks over was for. It? And uh, do you know? Okay, do you know what I hate the most about putting this together with the news? Right, is mm. the way that whenever okay, so whenever I'm looking for a story to base this on, most sites what they do is they always just put together a, like here's some stuff that was announced, right? And yeah. then so right. it's just it's just a couple of the headliners and a couple of other bits. If I use that story and talk about it, you're all like, no, no, we've got to go through it all one at a time, <laughs> one after the other, right? <clears throat> it's very difficult to find something that has listed all of those, and I'm not watching this thing. I mean, back. why don't you just? Because yeah, it's, no, why don't you just skim through it? And write it's down like an hour long, and it, and it's I can't be bothered to do that. We did, we did I watch can't. the whole thing in real time. You could have maybe you, you could made have written notes. down while we were watching it. <laughs> could have done that, but I didn't. 
And so anyway, okay. Okay. so I've got Brilliant. I've got the list anyway. So this yeah. is so come on, you're a gamer. List them all out for our podcast, exactly. please. Please do, do that. Our yeah. It makes it a lot easier. Don't just go the easy route of just going like, oh, there's a couple of good ones here, and there's all these other rubbish ones. Just put it in a big list. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, stop being lazy. Yeah. <laughs> right, go on, James. So the first thing we got from this was the Xenoblade Chronicles smash invite thing. Yeah. Uh, they did it again. Uh, they did it yeah, again. Yeah, but it was all right this time because none of us were invested in the, the game that they were talking yeah, about. No, so that it was like, yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> that helps a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, fine. I don't think Xenoblade any, I mean, Chronicles no one cares about smash. that, do they? Let's be honest. I mean... No, nah, we we can skip through most of these. Okay, then we had Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout coming out on Switch. I mean, that's that's good. And, yeah, and coming Xbox. to Xbox as well. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, they announced <laughs> that shortly afterwards. Um, uh, but the you know the big the sad things that it's not coming out till summer. Mm. I thought it was going to be. Mm. I thought when they finally announced it, it would be like, and it's available now. But yeah, it, it didn't yeah, that work seems out the type of game yet. to do that. But mm. how how yeah, is Fall Guys really. still doing now? Is it still getting mad numbers? I don't know. I, I mean, I played numbers. it this week. I had one game of it this week and I still loved it and got a game really easily. So I was happy with that. Mm-hmm. I think it's, yeah, but yeah. I, think it, I think it's ticking over pretty nicely. But obviously, yeah, the initial surge is gone at this point. But yeah, yeah I fine. mean, it's not as popular as it was, but my God, I can't wait to play that more. And it, when it launches on Xbox and Switch, I think it'll do all right. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll have another nice little bump. Yeah. Cool. And people will remember it and go, oh, yeah, I like this game. Um, yeah, fantastic. Then we had uh, the Outer Wilds, so that's coming, obviously. Um, yeah. How how are they getting those games on that system? It's not. I, I don't know because like I said um, when we did the talks over, it's like it's it's a bit stuttery on even like a good PC. It's yeah. So uh, I don't know, I don't know. It'd be interesting, but I mean, you know, whatever. More people getting to play that game is a exactly. good thing. It's so, an yeah. absolute stunner. But I'm interested to see how it performs on Switch. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, then we have the Famicom uh, Detective Club, which I'm probably the only one here who's interested in that. And, yeah, uh, yeah, sorry. But yeah, it looks right up your street. It was like a, a visual novel yeah, basically, style yeah. thing. Yeah, But it's like 30 Wiki's- years old and they've just like updated it. So I don't know. I mean, I was kind of interested and then I looked on the eShop and it was like 50 quid. And I just, I know yeah. it's, I know it's, you know, it's obviously it's like a new game, University Commons or whatever, but I still just thought... Fifty quid for like a visual novel is quite a lot. They, they blows, not usually that, that much. That blows my mind. That that blows my mind that you think like that. How so? Because you are more than willing to buy a game that you already own on your Series S <laughs> to play it on your PS5, but two games that you know that you'd like. And you're looking at it and going, 50 quid, I ain't spending it out on that. No, it's true. You know but what I mean? then I know, but I was buying that because I was I the game that I already had on the Series S was obviously on a last gen console. And uh, you know, I wanted it on something which was more powerful. You're talking about Cyberpunk, yeah. yeah. How's that working on your PS5? Well it's not, is it? It's not working on your Xbox no, Series X either. No, it's not, so no. you know it's 50, uh, Yeah, I know, I know, but I haven't spent fifty pounds when I didn't need to on it. That's, <laughs> the, that's the difference, James. Well, I didn't that's know I did not know it was gonna be a disaster, did I? It was uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. What what was announced next? Then we had Samurai Warriors Five. I don't remember this. What was this? Yeah. It's another I mean, Musou game, isn't it? It's so. yeah. It's one of the okay. one of the Dynasty Warriors spin-offs. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Keep Which, going. I mean, uh, fine, but yeah. <laughs> Legend of Mana. So this was a upscaled <laughs> re rejig of it's a PS1 game isn't it I think I said on the talks over I thought it was a GBA game and it's not it's a PlayStation um game but there's there was a few of these just Square Enix just going hey it's a sort of upscaled old game that you what might was, remember what was Legend of Mana the one that had some sort of weird history um or was that not that later on down where of didn't, didn't the series start on the Super NES like it did yeah Secret of Mana uh, technically Game Boy Oh, okay, it was the it was, oh, a, it, was okay. it was originally a Final Fantasy spin off, Final Fantasy Adventure, and then that became really? the the Mana Games. Yeah, I thought that was okay. Mystic Quest. Oh fuck! Fight, maybe. fight, fight, fight! Shit! <laughs> fuck! I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Yes. Sorry, right, some someone will correct us. It's fine. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. and they sure. will be. Uh, they'll I be. That was Mystic Quest. <laughs> they'll be very kind about it. I'm sure when they do correct us. Um, yeah, but okay. yeah, so yeah, the, the Mana series was a, a whole thing for a long time, and. Yeah, I've I've no idea if this one is meant to be any good. It didn't look like they'd done a huge amount to it though. Um, the the trailer sort of mentioned upscale backgrounds and stuff, and it looked okay, I guess. Um, 
but it's not like you know because he did that remake of was it Heroes of Mana last year and that was like a full like it's 3D now like it was a full remake whereas there was a couple of these in this presentation that were just like oh you've just kind of ported it across and kind of upscaled some stuff don't know wasn't that impressed okay okay and then after that we had uh, Monster Hunter Rise yeah I mean you know good trailer but we all, we we know everything we need to about it at this point pretty much and it's out next well, month wasn't there so... a demo out about it uh, yeah, the, yeah demo's been out for yeah. a month or so now um yeah that's all right so I'm yeah you know I, I, I am excited you know and like thomas mentioned like being excited about it and i was like yeah me too but as as part of a nintendo direct I, you know having another monster on a trailer didn't really do anything for me personally but okay Okay, and then so okay after months. Oh, okay, then we have Mario Golf. Okay, okay. No, no, because I was just wondering whether anyone else would, <laughs> would have any interest in it, and then just realised that no, nobody does. And, no, um, okay. just me. Yeah. Just, just Sean. Uh, yep. Then we he's had- also got caught out because he's texting me the current score between Brighton and uh, Crystal Palace. <laughs> true, yeah. We've also Rumbled. come on Brighton written underneath it. So. <laughs> James, what's your problem? Exactly. That's why he got caught out there. Yeah, it, it is why I got caught out. It's true. <laughs> Did James, what's your problem with Crystal Palace exactly? I'm oh, just not a huge fan, man. It's, let's uh, yeah. let's not get into let's not get to it on the show. Come on, let's let's move on. Let's keep it video Confessing. games, yeah. Yeah. Then we, <laughs> <laughs> then we had the uh, one thing me and James bond over. <laughs> God, <laughs> God, it's uh, Mario Golf uh, Super Rush was next. I, I like this. this. Look good, and I'm interested if it's yeah. a good game. Yeah, yeah. I thought it looked cool, and I was intrigued by the the mode where it's just everyone smashing the golf ball in in real time like not taking it in turns and you just yeah. got to sprint across the course and try and get it in the hole as soon as that looks i that think quite good it fun. looks shit Ooh, <laughs> i think it looks good <laughs> really why, why why you love a, a cartoonish golf game don't you yeah but this is it it didn't look that cartoonish to me it didn't look enough and i think um it summed it up the most because i was looking at i was looking at roll muck and seeing their reaction to the the Nintendo Direct, and uh-huh. just one person put in there, um, like there was a, a bit of buzz about it, uh, you know, a few negative comments, a few overly negative comments, and you know, whatever. But someone just put, I I don't know, it just looks so charmless, and I thought that's mm-hmm. the word. Mm-hmm. It it didn't have the charm of like a Nintendo Mario game at all, because it didn't you know, say who's making s- it, did they? Because I, I know no, normally Camelot, Camelot yeah. handle these. Is it actually? Is it? Is it? Camelot, I, I don't know yeah. if it is or not, but I, you'd assume. Um, yeah. yeah. But my my point is this: is that if I if I thought of a Mario golf game in my head, I'm seeing a field with like castles and characters around the edges and streamers and fucking fireworks and all that shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like as I said on the direct, right? You look at Mario Kart. It, you just imagine a Mario Kart game where they just look like your local kart <laughs> track. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It, you kind of go, what? <laughs> what? Where's all the? Where's all the? Wow! Fucking everything's going off. I know and what you mean. When I saw this, and um, there was like a tree and then like a little a hut, like off to the side in a big open field, I was kind of like, this just seems like Mario down my local golf range. <laughs> like this doesn't seem like a Mario golf game. Because um, you get that, you get that with um, everybody's golf. That's sort of the halfway house, isn't yeah. it? Like where, you know, they, it is just a golf course, but there's so much going on, and it looks so beautiful with all the the you know the stylized trees and lakes and all that sort of stuff. So it is heading to it's keeping it grounded to some extent, but obviously mm. it's very anime and very you know uh, busy on the screen. Whereas this, it just I was surprised by how bare it looked. And I think charmless is the right word for it. I, yeah, I, I, I mean, looked I'm, I'm, just for that does not get me excited at all. It is yeah, coming I mean, up. It is, yeah, I was just having another look as well. So I'm looking at the trailer. I, I do see what you mean. Like it doesn't, aside from the fact that it's got Mario characters in it, it's just, yeah, like that, yeah. that could be a course ripped straight from everybody's golf. It's like, it's just like normal. <laughs> yeah, but Which that's is, what I'm saying. Everybody's golf looks more active than that. Mm. Like, looks like it's more got more going on than that. Yeah, especially the the most recent one. Mm. Um, so I was kind. Of, that's the point I was trying to make on the stream. But if you remember correctly, I was so tired I couldn't get any words out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just looking at the uh, screenshots, it, it looks super bland, doesn't it? Just like really, yeah. just well, everything looks flat. I think it looks fun. So okay. sh- well, I shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, okay. it's you know, it could go either way. If it's like, 
if it comes out and the reviews are all sort of you know high 70s or whatever I'll, I'll probably skip it but yeah skip it at high 70s yeah that's what what I mean. it, it, it needs a, to be a, eight, eight or above that's the, ten. that's the threshold <laughs> all right that's the threshold yeah. fair enough unless it's a six from edge then you know yeah, that's then it's an, an instant, instant buy, buy. Yeah. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, next. You will uh, probably skip for a few of these. Yeah. yeah, let's read these really quickly. Okay, Tales from the Borderlands. No, nope. quicker. Okay, fine. Well, hang on. Yeah. So, d- d- quicker. D- sorry, just be a pain. Alpha. I did see it pointed out that actually, because this was pulled from sale, wasn't it? When all the the shit happened with the developer. Um, right. So okay. It, it is qu- like um, I think we've all played it. It's not new at all, but it's. I guess it's nice to see it on a new format, given that it's not easy to get a hold of for a while. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Capcom Arcade Stadium. No, next. Next. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to cough. Sorry about that. And why is he right. muted? Go, go <laughs> I don't know, because I had to say something, because if I'd have just muted it and coughed, you'd have gone, James, oh, right. okay, James, go where are you? James, <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's right. This next announcement was the weirdest of a lot, It I really think, was. Thinking back over it. It really was. Bizarre. Go on. So we've got Stubbs the Zombie. Uh, Rebel Without a Pulse. So this was the this was an Xbox One game. No, original what? Xbox it, game. Original Xbox game. Yeah. And it was an ex- original Xbox game, and it looks like they've done nothing to yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and I I, it I played terrible. it back in the day, and I don't have fond memories of it. <laughs> so what a weird game to come to the it's, Switch. It's one yeah. of those ones where you know people do say it has a cult following, but as somebody in the chat said, that doesn't necessarily mean good. You know. <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> Yeah, well, not only that, I mean, it just looks so bad. That's what shocked me. Mm. It was kind of like, wow, this... I mean, the trailer wasn't cut to try and make it look good either. There was bits where the camera angle just looked a fucking nightmare. (laughs) I was like, this is awful. Still look better than Mario Golf. What a strange announcement. Oh, shut up. (laughs) Oh, you're my Cyber Mario Golf now, James. I was from the start. I've never never seen it look good. Me and Matt are team Mario Golf. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. It's all right, Matt. We'll all play right. it together. We'll have a good time. Yeah, Matt's team good. everything. He's furious that we're slagging off Stubbs the zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Look, great game's also coming to Xbox, by the way. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> next. okay, baby. Uh, no More Heroes 3. Quicker. Okay, sure. Uh, Neon White. Okay. This, this is, is weird. Annapurna, right? Yeah, this was the first person... Card based, yeah, first hardcore. person shooter thing. It's not card based. This this is what annoyed me about um, James because all right, you were making a gag or whatever. But when we were watching that trailer, you were like, "Cards not interested," yeah. <laughs> and I just thought, "Well, no, actually, that's just a way of showing what power up you're using at the time." I yeah. think that's what. Well, it yeah, but I think the idea anyway. is you're going to be sort of constant. Like you'll have like a hand of cards, and you cut sort of each. Like your next attack is always the next card in the the deck. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I think you're constantly having to be like, right, fuck, now it's this, now, now it's this, now. So you're losing each, me. with each shot, you're having to think about how it's going to behave and stuff. But No, that, that makes sense. I mean, it looked. I thought it was the most interesting game they showed at this thing. Yeah, um, and we, and we and found out afterwards... That that's got potential. It, we found out afterwards it's by the Donut County guy, which is weird. Yeah, I don't know whether that's a positive or a negative. Well, this is really. it, because <laughs> it looked nothing like Donut County, but then I, I wasn't wild about it, whereas you quite enjoyed it, didn't you, Dave? I did, yeah, so, but I wouldn't expect them to be doing like some high-speed no. no. <laughs> uh, first-person action game involving cards and picking mm. the right moves and stuff. Yeah. But um, we'll see. We'll see how that pans out. Uh, DC Superhero Girls Team Power. Okay. Matt, Matt like this, I thought. Uh, okay, I think let's, we'll we'll that. That. Yeah. let's move on. Yeah. Okay, uh, Plants vs. Zombies Battle for, na- for Neighbourville. This was just like, like all of them all in one package. Uh, it's it, one something? of those ones that I just thought, this isn't already on Switch. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I thought it was, but apparently not. This this could have a following. Um, I, I mean, I, I know those games were very well regarded. I, I, I never really got into them. I played the first one and the second one for a little bit. but it well, never, this is, Hang on, because it's not actual Plants vs. Zombies, is it? No, it's it's the, the, the Battlefield no, style. No, it's the, it's the Battlefield shooter. style one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. so I played the first, first two. They never really grabbed me to the point where mm. I played them for any longer than a couple of hours, but um, I could see a market for it, definitely. Mm-hmm. In fact, actually, my cousin, not too long ago, said, um, I want to play a first-person shooter game, but my you know, parents won't let me if it's got blood in it. Can you give me a first-person shooter game with no blood? So my initial... He's got an Xbox. And so my first thing was, like, download the Master Chief collection. 
and he did. It took him all day because that file was massive, <laughs> and he played it, and apparently it's got blood in it. I didn't. I don't remember there being blood it's in. Only it's only alien blood. Doesn't blood doesn't it? count. Yeah. yeah. No. Appa- well, apparently not. Apparently, when Master Chief gets it, there's some blood on the what? floor. Yeah. I don't believe that. Yeah, I'm not sure I believe that either because my. But apparently. <laughs> so. so I think your um, cousin's yeah, that a was, fucking that was liar, Dave. My next one was Destiny. Has that got blood in it? Um, no. Well, there no, we it's go just then. got a lot. Yeah. The only thing that pops out of heads are numbers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're safe. <laughs> yeah, which is fine, but the, the parents' uh, wallets are going to be empty within. <laughs> they've got free to play and get the buy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go on. Uh, then we have Metopia. Oh, you must be well up for this, James. You love this shit. I don't know. This is, I mean, Rachel. <laughs> you, I thought Ra- you left Rachel, it on the 3DS or No, what? Rachel Rachel bought it. I mean, she had it. She played it. She quite enjoyed it, but also then got bored of it quite quickly. And uh, it's also really expensive, like considering what it is. It's, um, it's a bit of a shame. Oh, really? It's not I mean, the... It looks... um, God, sorry. It, I mean, it's not It's not those... You know, like, the, the good thing with the 3DS is it had those, you know, those mini games that you used to be able to play, you know, with the Street Pass and everything. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not that. <laughs> this is this no, is quite... it looks like it, but it's yeah, yeah. This is a standalone thing, isn't it? But yeah, it's it's not great. I mean, it's yeah, it's it's all right. But uh, we're they not don't, really again. Good. They don't Fair appear enough. to have done much with it. it just looked like an upscaled yeah three DS game. Yeah, Which is right. right. Uh, then we had the Animal Crossing New Horizons Super Mario update. So yeah, that's... looks great. I'm excited about that. It's the one thing that I'll go back to Mario. Uh, Animal Crossing for I think yeah. I'll I'll buy all that stuff. I think yeah, every, I'm well up for that. Everybody's going to be making their own like Nintendo Land, aren't they, or whatever you know from it? Oh, the it's... pipes that lead you to another part of the island. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah, I mean, that's, What's weird yeah, is that I'll set really all that useful. up to the to the best positions and then never play that game again. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit of an idiot, but there you go. <laughs> uh, then we had Project Strategy Triangle. Yeah. Great was it, name. it was Triangle Strategy, title. wasn't it? Working title. I sort of hope they keep it to be honest, but. Yeah, um, yeah, same. Uh, this looked proper good. I've I've played a bit of the demo, but not enough to really talk about it. But yeah, it was just a um, very uh, Final Fantasy Tactics style um, strategy RPG, and it had it's obviously it's by the team that did um, Octopath Traveler, so it's got that cool um, you know two D slash three D art style with the the heavy sort of uh, depth of field effects and stuff, and it looks wicked. I'm I'm really excited about this, but it's not out until next year, so. I'll just I'll I'll just stretch the demo out for another twelve months. I'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, then we had Star Wars Hunters. We did. I mean, this is this what is was this. It this was is Zynga, and I, I had to look it up afterwards. It was a mobile game. It's yeah. Free to play. I mean, is it already game. a mobile game? Is it? Well, it's Zynga. I don't know. I didn't know they d- developed non-mobile games. Yeah, but um, it's uh, I think it's basically a MOBA, isn't it? It's a. I think it said it's a battle arena style game. It's a no for game. me, Sean. Hey, um, so yeah, I don't, I don't think any of us will be playing this for any length of time. Not really. like it, it's not for us, but it could do well though. Oh yeah. And, yeah. and what's weird is that you, you'll find as well that um, Fortnite has introduced Star Wars to a lot of kids. Really? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. Well, I say, I say that based on one kid telling me that they were <laughs> they've interested in Star Wars because they were in Fortnite for a bit. So oh, you, you know, take that with a pinch of salt. <laughs> but. <laughs> That was a stupid claim that is. <laughs> it's introduced it to a lot of kids, and then up my memory went one kid. Dave has said that to you. <laughs> oh yeah, one kid. One kid. Well, one kid said that. That's that is fine. Okay, uh, Knockout City. I don't remember this. What was this? No, me neither. This was, was the dodgeball game. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. this looked alright. This, this was the game that you were going. Oh my god, we've seen this so many times, and we went name one dodgeball game, and you went. No, I didn't mean it in terms of the dodgeball. I meant in terms of like the graphical style and all that kind of thing. It just looked, it looked like another. Yeah. You know what I mean, Sean? Yeah, yeah. Because obviously, so like there's Splatoon, and then there's that Ninja La that came yeah. out that just looked a lot like Splatoon, and then this was sort of a cross between those and that sort of Overwatch slash. Was it Rocket Arena? Whatever. They yeah, there was that other yeah. EA one as well that they tried yeah. to do. There's, there's been quite a few. I, uh, that's what I mean by another one of these. It's the visual style. It's like they're all yeah. doing this similar kind of thing. Maybe it'll be good. I don't know. But you know. Uh, yeah, it looks like good fun. I mean, it better be free because no one's gonna. Be, <laughs> I'm not no paying a play. penny for that yeah. shite. No, it's just you I know what it, you know how it works. Like again, like if it's a slightly unusual multiplayer game, if it's not free to play, forget it. <laughs> okay. 
I mean, not for me personally, just in general. Very okay, very dismissive uh, from Sean Bell. Let's speed this up, please. <laughs> w- World's End Club. I mean, yeah, I don't know what this was. Speed it quicker, faster. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, Hades Physical Edition. Don't keep, need to talk about that, right? I mean, again, uh, cool, but why was it on a direct? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, mm. Ninja Guide Master Collection. Uh, keep going. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Iron Warriors Age of Calamity <laughs> Expansion Pass. Sean? James, James is well up for this. James uh, James absolutely not. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm really taking my time with that game, so I don't yeah, know if it's just the, yet. Yeah. The demo. I'm sampling it like a fine wine. <laughs> I can't um, believe you've not played it since nominating it for Game of the Year. Because the conversation that. around it has been poisoned, Dave. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> you can't bring yourself to play it now. Yeah, too many bad memories of people making fun of me on the Game of the Year show. <laughs> can't do it. Uh, Bravely yeah. Default 2. Yeah, again, okay. we already knew about it. Like it's out next week. Or this week, I think. So fine. Oh, yeah, let's uh, go. go. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection. Yeah. Um, yeah. Saga, Saga Frontier. Saga Frontier remastered. <laughs> you need to oh use that. Uh, Apex go. Legends on Nintendo Switch. Okay, Great. it looked absolute shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Come on, it looked, looked worse, like an, but looked like a fucking N sixty four game. No, oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> then then, oh, then we had okay, then, then we the had the greatest announcement ever. Yeah, we had the oh, big God. announcement, which was amazing. Which was my favourite bit of the entire thing. Was <laughs> it, it was um is it was wasn't was. coming coming on and just like saying, you know. We, we, you know, you see me, you're expecting Breath of the Wild 2 news. There is no news. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. It was my favourite bit. It was brilliant. Yeah. Do you know how you avoid that? You just show the trailer for the for um, Skyward Sword. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's all you do. You show us a trailer for Skyward Sword HD yeah, and then you move like on. If, like if you're writing the script for your video and you're thinking, Jesus, as soon as they see me, they're going to be expecting this and I need to you know, squash those expectations. Do you have the option to just not be on it? Yeah. yeah just, <laughs> just don't be on it. Yeah. What That's, a weird but no, But the worst thing about that was they, thing to do. they showed that and then as we said when we were watching it, they then kept talking about Breath of the Wild as well. As in like, you know... <laughs> This game, there's bits in this that are a bit like Breath of the Wild. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, just... the, the, the sales pitch for Skyward Sword HD was very much, please be interested in this. <laughs> like, it's that's got how it felt. some ideas that we then improve yeah. for Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, right, Skyward Sword, I've played a bit of it and I quite enjoyed it, um, but ev- everyone tells me it's shit now, so... And it's not even to do anything to do with the motion controls, as far as I'm aware. It's, isn't it? There's just like shitloads of backtracking and stuff, and making you revisit old areas. Apparently, um, yeah. so it's not well thought of by most fans, I believe. Obviously, there's exceptions to that. Some people are really excited, um, but no, this was not what most of us wanted. I think because obviously we were all thinking this could be the the 35 years as Zelda announcement. Yeah, and, yeah. Mm, which yeah. is today. Yeah, the collection. Right, today, Monday, is, oh, is apparently it? the 35th anniversary yeah, of the original okay. one coming out. Not acknowledged. <laughs> Not acknowledged. <laughs> no, there was nothing at all. And this is what I was disappointed about, because I, I want to play this, because I've never played it, and it's a Zelda yep, game I've never here. played. So I'm, I will get it, and I will play it. But I was hoping it was going to be part of a like a collection or something. You know, That would have been made more sense to me, you know, for them to yeah. do that. But nope. Yep. But no. Yeah, like, I'm excited. I mean, that list of reviews... Destroy it. I'm, I'm going to get this because I haven't played it before, so I want to see what it's about. It's cool, yeah. honestly. Like the motion control stuff is is cool. Like you have like duels. Like some of the boss um, fights are like sword duels with other characters, and you have to like like do sort of little like faint maneuvers. So you have to like sort of pretend to strike one way, and then they sort of, then never they go into a guard, and then you whip it. Any of that? You're saying fuck all that. I've never liked any of that stuff. Motion oh, good, controls man. for me were just, it's fun in a party style setting, mm. but sitting down playing a game, I've never liked it. Unless it's a situation like Mario Odyssey or something like that, where I'm literally holding the controller and mm. just moving my wrists a little bit. I yeah. don't want to be like. Oh, no, that, that is pretty much what you do with swiping. The Skyward Sword. Yeah, you're not like standing no, up isn't. and fully like fucking leaning into it or anything. No, but, I know, but you yeah. are sitting there just waving your arms about like a. Like a. I'm trying to stop using that word. Um, like <laughs> a twat. No, that's. <laughs> yeah, it's loads better, mate. Well done. It's not as strong. 
it's not as strong as a C word, is it? But you know what I mean. I do. Um, f- fuck those motion controls. But thankfully, they've got rid of them, <laughs> which is how I assume most people yeah, will play with this. With a new probably. idea of button controls. Yeah, I know that was crazy phrase they came out with, wasn't it? Um, crazy. But uh, look, <sighs> this trailer was never going to do well because we've just been told, "Hey, hi, you're expecting Breath of the Wild 2. <laughs> and to be fair to them, they did say. We will announce more about that this year. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to so, see more this year. For but sure. We know it's coming. I just think maybe maybe they just went about it the wrong way. If this was a random trailer dropped into the middle of this direct, then fine. I, I, I think it would have got a better reception. Mm. But everyone think, was focused I, I, on what had just happened before it. Because also, you know, the sort of <laughs> the damage control message from Nintendo prior to this starting was that, like, this is about Nintendo Switch stuff at like the first half of this year. And we're like, yeah. right, okay, yeah, you know, expectations lowered. But then we, by this point, we'd already seen a bunch of stuff that wasn't coming out until later this year or next year or whatever. So yeah, suddenly they, it was like, well, oh, fuck. That. Yeah, <laughs> this is what I said when we watched it. They do mm. that for every Nintendo Direct. Mm-hmm. They say, oh, no, it's just this. Yeah. And then they don't do that. <laughs> so their attempt at trying to tone down the expectations for this thing is pointless. It's pointless mm. because you just go, okay, but you said that last time and you didn't do that. You showed off other yeah. stuff. So we're not going to believe it. It's not going to work to say that stuff anymore. Also, I mean, this could have been about half as long as it was and most of these games could have been on a sizzle reel and that would have been fine. They they yeah. didn't have to go into, you know, with all this. It was it was not so good. I mean, they ended well, with... Hold on, hold on. Should we... Let, let's... Let, yeah, let's end... Finish the direct off before we go to our overall thoughts. Go on. Okay, so then the last thing they showed was uh, Splatoon 3 which is coming out next year. Which, again, I'm excited about, and I'm glad it's happening. But, yeah, not till next year, and the trailer didn't show us anything new. Like, there was that, that sort no. of cool intro sequence, um, which looked like, you know, the beginning of the like the campaign or whatever, and then it was like, here's a clip of some multiplayer battles, which look exactly like the old ones. Um, yeah. it, like, I'm sure it'll be great, but, yeah, nothing really in that trailer to... Really but then, yeah, and I just, I just get angry thinking we have had three Splatoon games, mm. and in that time we've had one Zelda game, one <laughs> Mario 3D game, <laughs> and we've had one Mario Kart game. No, we've had no Mario Kart games, no new Mario Kart games in those three years, uh, in, in those, uh, in the span of those three games. And that that's where my mind goes. But they were never going to do just, that, though. That I mean, I've been saying this since the beginning. They only so, ever release one. I know you one, keep saying it. But they, it's, it's true, hell. though. They they only ever release one Mario Kart game for every every system. Never. Yeah, they've never release a Mario Kart game for the Switch, then. Yeah, but exactly. But it's not... David, nobody bought the Wii U. People don't know it exists. <laughs> and Mario Kart yeah, 8 still, I mean. still shifts, doesn't it? So... It's still not the way you it does as well. We've been playing it; is still brilliant. But yeah. I want more. At least, at least, at the very least, they should have announced like, or they should have worked on some new tracks and Definitely. stuff. Definitely, like I, I am. Yeah, I am surprised they've not done that. If See, they're not making a new game, and that is what is galling as well about every time that these these directs start up and we get more Smash stuff, and you're just thinking, come on. <laughs> something like that for Mario Kart would be so good. Like if they yeah, were like, yeah, like oh, Smash is, is not the only game that they can rinse in that way, and I'm surprised yeah, they exactly. don't bother with Mario Kart. Like, I, and I'd be happy to be rinsed for more Mario Kart stuff. Yeah, um, more Mario Kart. Oh, yeah. the, here's another five levels for Super Mario Odyssey, and it costs fifteen quid. Who's not buying that? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking hell, it's so infuriating. Yep. Yeah. Okay, right, okay. So, um, you know, we were very down on this Nintendo Direct and there's a lot of people that have come out since and said, what did you expect? Um, you know, there's obviously their big one's going to be in the summer. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that's where they're going to announce the majority of their big stuff. E3, um, mate. I think... E3. That's, that's, that's all fine. <laughs> it's fine saying that, but then you're allowed yeah. to also just think that was not very good. Like, I don't understand do, why you're not allowed you know, to say that. Do you know that. how I felt? I felt like, you know, those people in around the, you know, 2010 to 2012, you know, that sort of period in gaming that will watch an E3 thing and go, everything's a shooty bang game. It's all war games and first person shooters. This is boring. I know how they feel now because I watched this (laughs) and I was like, so many of these are anime 
the styles anime, mm. the, the you know you know how the games sound, and they're either strategy or RPGs or whatever. A lot of them are turn based. I just thought, not all of them, obviously, but I just felt there was a lot of that style of game in there, and I'm not personally interested in that. I know there are a lot of people that are, so I'm not you know trying to argue. You, you know what I mean. But I wasn't personally interested in that. So as I was watching it, I was like, there's not a lot for me here. You're announcing a lot, but there's not a lot for me here. Mm. So I'm kind of feeling like really flat by the but end of it. It's not just there's not a lot. like Because I looked at this, I thought there's not. it's not just there's not a lot for me here. There's not a lot for my kids here either, actually. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I didn't show it to Harry. This is the first Nintendo Direct I haven't shown to Harry because it was like, what? You should have shown him. I'll be interested to see what he's thought. Rubbish. Skip, <laughs> skip, skip, rubbish. <laughs> no, because he, what, what, an hour of sitting there while he's getting his heart broken by Nintendo. I'll leave that to me. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll do the heartbreaking um, round here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, James. James, I've got some good news, mate. Go on. Has Brighton gone 2 1 up? Final Fantasy Adventure, <laughs> originally released in Japan as Seiken Densetsu Final Fantasy Gaiden, and later released in Europe as Mystic Quest, I is knew a Final it. Fantasy spin off and the first game in the Mana series. We're I both knew it. right. Yeah, We're yeah. both right. It's fine. Yeah. Come and now, now, now people right, don't have to write in. So exactly. Yeah. Everyone wins. <laughs> oh, Everyone they've wins. already written in. <laughs> they've already written in before they got to this point. <laughs> you know that's the truth. Um, yeah, so I, I, I think there was two things there. There was one, for me, especially visually, there was a lack of variety or or there was enough variety for me to stay interested throughout the whole thing. Mm. And and B, it'd been so long since their last direct, you would have hoped that they'd have some more interesting stuff to show. It didn't have to be released next week, but it didn't have to be, you know, it, it was just something at hinting at Nintendo stuff that's coming out this year. So based on that, the stuff that we're getting from Nintendo this year from Nintendo... It was only Mario Golf, right? I mean, that's Camelot, so... Yeah. Right, okay, party. so yeah. clearly there's stuff, there's other stuff that's coming out this oh, year. definitely, yeah. And they, they're not ready to show it. But I just kind of think, man, maybe you should have given, given us a little bit to hang on to, you know what I mean? But then um, it's like, but they've not even... Again, this is unfair because there was no guarantee this was going to be shown but a lot of people were yeah, like absolutely, a lot yeah. of people were like give us a fucking silk song release date or something like it so it's like they've not even pulled out that you know some of the most anticipated non nintendo stuff either so and it is unfair because we know we're being like babies yeah you know what i mean yeah, yeah. well i, I, mean, I imagined we that this was going to happen and then it didn't and now i'm upset like it's ridiculous yeah. but yeah 100% yeah. But but you know what can you do? That's how I felt. So <laughs> <laughs> shut up, leave me alone. <laughs> Give me some new games. No. <laughs> right, uh, that's probably enough on the direct, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Good. Okay. So the next story we've got. I mean, I uh, see. The thing is, oh, I was for fuck's sake. I've just looked at it. I know, James, see, what's the matter <laughs> with but you? Look, this is the thing. I was I was hoping obsessed. that we wouldn't have to go back to this. Um, honestly, because I just thought it's kind of done now. But then there was more news after we recorded last week about Stadia. And what it is, is that... So it turns out that Google didn't notify the staff from its studios about the closures, like, just before they happened. But then also had a like, had a meeting with them to tell them that they were all making great progress and that things were going really well. And then they closed them down. So they, they got... So it says here, the team received an email from Google Stadia's VP like uh, Phil Harrison on the 27th of January, and he said that they'd made great progress building a diverse and talented team and established a strong lineup of Stadia-exclusive games. And then six days later, they closed the whole thing down and got rid of 150 people, pretty much. Which I is- mean, <laughs> that just means it wasn't Phil Harrison's decision, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> it's, like it's- he-, he obviously thought everything was fine. Yeah. Um, but then you, know, you would think in his role, he would be aware if the people above him were about to just gut his entire operation but yeah but know. sometimes you just don't know right yeah I guess. sometimes you just don't if you if you're not involved in those discussions you're not you know one minute you got a job the next you ain't and sometimes that happens to high profile people mm. well the i mean and the other factor with this may be I and mean, we don't know for certain this is just the speculation is that the microsoft bethesda acquisition was partly to blame for this as well because apparently well, this is this is hilarious this well, is hilarious <laughs> Because Phil Harrison, he brought the deal up apparently as a factor during a Q and A with staff, 
and uh, as one of the reasons. And he said that uh, it was the rising costs of game development and also maybe the yeah the Microsoft Bethesda acquisition because I think I guess the idea is it's uh, you know Microsoft have been going around buying everybody up and it's they couldn't for some reason Google couldn't compete well, with that. I mean the thing thing is James you you doing Phil's work for him there because doesn't it basically say that at no point did he actually explain why this no. was a factor? Or- <laughs> no no he did, well no he didn't even confirm it was a factor he just sort of okay. brought it up as a, a possibility. Yeah that, this is what it could <laughs> that be. happened. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Was it a factor it, that it happened? Was yeah. it a factor? It could or could not be a factor. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's very strange. The whole it thing is. is very strange, but also sad because, again, all those people you know, that were working on yep. this stuff and they probably, I mean, they would have been gearing up for this for like quite a long time and that's like a big chunk of time that they've spent working on stuff mm-hmm. that's pretty... I wonder what will happen to these games. Well, Google owned them, don't they? So those... they'll be gone, I guess. They... Yeah, well, yeah, but some of that work surely is going to get transitioned into something else, isn't it? I don't think so. It'd be very unusual if they were allowing the developers to leave with the... With all their stuff. Yeah, with the, <laughs> yeah content, the code yeah. and get published elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that right. won't be happening. I mean, and what's really shit um, is that, like, th- this means we're never going to see anything that, like, was built from the ground up for Stadia and yeah. will make use of all the... Cool and interesting things that Stadium might what, have they're done. Well, never launched. Exactly. Isn't it? And, well, and we're just we're definitely never going to see any of that stuff now. It's just going to be ports. It's true, well, isn't it? Yeah. Because happen... it's the same with XCloud. Because like everything that well, most of the stuff we're going to see on XCloud is probably going to be stuff that was just generally built for Xbox, as it were, rather than yeah. for the system. And yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, so that is a shame. Yeah. What's going to happen to Typhoon Studios? They were the studio who did uh, Journey to the Savage Planet that got bought by Stadia. Yeah. Oh, did they? Like so, God what's happened to them? Like they buy themselves out, and they can just <laughs> act Maybe. like nothing happened. Yeah, guess so. Bizarre, oh, isn't it? So the other thing that happened uh, this week is that there was a unreleased version of Dinosaur Planet for the N sixty four appeared, and so this was from its video game preservationists at Forest of Illusion uh, announced that they had a build of the game that was from uh, December two thousand, and then Digital Foundry got hold of it as well and got it to work on an N sixty four. So Blimey. It, yeah. So this is yeah, this is the one that became Star Fox Adventures, wasn't yes. it? Yeah, that's we right. Rebranded it and made it. Did you it look at it? Game. Did you watch the footage? Huh? My word, that looked rough for an N sixty four game, that thing. Did it? Did. Yeah. Uh, I, it's it's so amazing it's, this thing's been released. I mean, only a couple of weeks ago we had that leaked gold the Goldeneye remasters where yeah, we yeah. got this. It's like this stuff's coming out in the woodwork. It's fascinating to see, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's weird because you sort of, you know, as you like growing up, you hear about games that just never, you know, were being made and then never got released. And you're like, oh man, that's gutting that we never got to see that. And then you get a bit older and you think, well, no, there's generally really good reasons for those things not being released. But then you get a bit older still and it's like, well, yeah, but it would still be interesting to have a look. I don't know. Are you saying we're going to see a bunch of Stadia games in about 20 years' time? <laughs> Possibly, sure. yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, of course, there'll be no, what, Stadia won't still be around for them to run on, so... Is, <laughs> good point. Is the... Um, yeah, all be beamed into our eyes, though, Sean, so it's all good. It's true. We, we, was there a game, like an example that sticks in your head, a cancelled game when you were younger, that you were kind of like, wow? Um, uh, oh, fuck, what was it called? Uh, that StarCraft Ghost Oh yeah, was that good. was. What was that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the N64 game as well. It got cancelled, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Was it N64 then GameCube yeah, so, yeah. and then yeah? But yeah, so that was meant to be like a cool, like stealth stroke third person shooter. Um, and yeah, and like I was never like I was never a big StarCraft guy, but it sounded cool as fuck. And yeah, never got finished. Wasn't there? Am I look? My memory's crap, but wasn't there? There wasn't a perfect dogs. Two was there? No, there, there was wasn't. Perfect Dark Zero, but there was not a Perfect Dark Two. Well, I'm pretty sure there were rumours of Perfect Dark Two being made, mm. and then that got cancelled. Oh, I'm fuck. sure there I'd was, seen screenshots um, of that. There was another Legacy of Kane game as well. I think it was Dead Sun, um, and that's like there's there's a like videos title. of yeah, um, as in S U N, which is left. I mean, still right, okay, quite, yeah, still sure, quite sure, sad, but sure. not yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's only, yeah, the, and it's only like, the death of a whole planet rather than... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. it's less personal, isn't it? Um, yep. But yeah, there, there's videos of like entire cutscenes and stuff from that floating around. But yeah, again, never never saw the light of day. And there was a Simpsons game where you played a bee or something what? flying around the Simpsons' house. 
That yeah, that rings a bell. Quite good, actually. That sounds, that sounds all right. <laughs> and yeah, to try was it a bee or a mosquito or some shit? I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember. But um, I think that was more of a tech demo that got leaked or some shit. Right. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> trip down memory lane yeah uh so the last story we got is the xbox series um fps boost uh that has now come out so this is whereby um yeah xbox one games will run much better basically because they've uh they've introduced this boost technology so this is, yeah, this yeah is... they're, they're, they're going back and, and fixing up old games aren't they in, well, in no terms. they're not actually that's what's really interesting about this because what the Go difference on. between this and the like the PlayStation stuff because obviously PlayStation have done something similar as well like with like with some of these modes like with the um, you know updating stuff in the background for some of the games. This one it's for it's Direct 3D like you know the actual the you know the operating system they worked on instead. So mm-hmm. what can happen is you can increase performance within the system without having to change any of the original code at all to the games. That's I mean that's a lot more impressive. I so think. no work has to be done nope. to the original game to make it perform at a high exactly. frame rate. I and mean that's must why be, this is really cool. Shit. But there must be something to it, right? Because why if that was the case, then why is there only like five games? Yeah, initially? exactly. And, so and there, also, there will well, be I assume but, they'd yeah. have to contact the um like they'd have to get approval from the devs, right? Yeah, I, I guess so. That. No, they must do. Why? They can't just they can't just set frame rates for games that they didn't. Can they? Uh, I mean, ultimately, yeah, I honestly don't know how this stuff <laughs> I mean, works. We, 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 um, we don't know. Can they? Is is the answer to that? <laughs> I'm sure yeah. that somebody will be able to tell us. Can yeah. I? <laughs> <laughs> but we yeah, there, like the, uh... there, there will definitely be instances where doing this will fuck up like animations and stuff, right? Because if a game's like a locked. 30 frames or whatever there'll be cutscenes playing at twice speed or whatever um that that stuff can happen um that's true but but, can but they? no it... <laughs> what was that but can they? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> God. Uh, but no but this this is cool if this is something that Microsoft are doing without having to you know get the developers to do a bunch of stuff that's that's really intriguing yeah, it's I really mean, hard. um <laughs> as, I, as I said, though, I think it's more important. We were talking about backwards compatibility today, yeah. um, privately. All right, so fuck you guys. We have little chats off air, and what? Yeah. Um, <laughs> we we were sort of chatting about this, and I said, I think it's now more important to do this than ever before. Like backwards compatibility was never really a big thing um, that I thought about, and it still isn't to a certain level. I'm not sitting there playing many 360 games, certainly not playing any original Xbox games. But when you look at how um, the focus on longevity has changed um, in just last gen, you know, these games, there's a lot, not all games, but many games come out with, we want this to last for years and years and years. Um, And, you know, going back and making those games run better on newer systems is is a great like it's it's a really important thing this gen because you know people still want to play Rocket League people still want to play Fortnite people still want to play Minecraft and and um uh, Rainbow Six and stuff like that you know so going back and making these games run better is really a, a nice thing almost important thing to do you know yeah and especially um, like because you know the complications that you know later generations have provided mainly with online stuff there's a lot of games that you risk you know losing essentially one day as the servers get turned off or whatever so it's nice that there's at least going to be another way with which to claw back some of that history and and keep some games alive for for longer and without having to buy you know there was a whole phase of like hd remasters which basically did nothing other than run at high (laughs) resolution so good i'm not paying 15 20 quid for any of those ever again possibly so this is why i was saying a lot i'm really happy that i feel like microsoft's in like it's microsoft have done this like they've changed i feel like they've changed the conversation on like backs compatibility as well Mm. over this generation because and this is all of a result of being so far behind yeah yeah. yeah. it's it's (laughs) partly because they've had to do this but it's also because it's it's really good to sort of change it from the idea of like backwards compatibility being like a nice extra, as people always used to say, to being something that's just expected. Like you should have this, it should work. And now it's getting even better because they're enhancing things as well, which yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's and, and absolutely, like you know, we've we've said the like yeah, all right, the you know the Series S and X, no real exclusives for them, but 
like absolutely getting the new box and then just being able to log in and be like, there you go, there's your last like 10, 15 years of games on your Xbox yeah, account. Yeah, that's nuts. That was absolutely yeah, part nuts. of the magic of it. So yeah, yeah. yeah. That will. I mean, I, I, do you remember Dave? Like that, that when they started adding them all, and every week there was like, yeah, oh, when they turned it on added. for the first time, yeah. it was crazy. Mm. Like honestly, you didn't realize, especially on the 360, you didn't realize how many games you bought digitally. Mm-hmm. And you're sitting there and you're looking at your console, and you've got like 15 games on your Xbox or whatever. And then you turned it on the next day, and it was like 80. And you're like, <laughs> what? You look through your previous purchases and they yeah. were just all there and you're going, yeah. oh my and, God. And for people that so had, had the 360 or maybe the original Xbox, then they went and got PS4. For those that may have thought, oh, I'll get an S because it's cheap mm. and stuff. It must, it must still be cool. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, there's all the stuff I've got and it's still getting upgrades. And even now you're like, oh, I hear a new story and this is now 120 frames or something. It's mm. uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They, They've done amazingly well, really. Yeah, cool. It is cool. Right. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so let's get on to what you've been playing then. Um, how do you want to do this? Should Can we, we do just the get our stuff out of the stuff way? Out? Why don't we just get our stuff out of the way? Because there's not much. Uh, so what yeah, have you been it's playing? It's going to take long, is it? Apart from Dave's bit, obviously. Yeah. Go on. Do, me? Uh, James. I said oh, James. Okay, sorry. Oh, sorry. I mean, all I've got is Mario 3D World um, because I finished Bowser's Fury, obviously, and then went back to that and I've just been playing it most of the week I mean I've not played is it as good as you remember yes it's still fantastic although it does feel easier than the Wii U version which is weird oh really Mm. yeah and I'm not entirely sure why I think it may be because they've speeded you know the character runs a lot faster uh, than he did yeah but why would that make it easier because some some of those things like collecting like collecting you know like when sometimes you have to collect um, like the green coins and stuff like that um, oh, yeah, to yeah, get, yeah. Yeah. that stuff feels a lot easier uh, than it was before and just the general movement feels a lot faster which makes things a bit easier but then I've only played as Mario and apparently it makes it more difficult if you're playing as like um, Luigi or Toad because they go too fast which is odd but, yeah because uh, Luigi's got that weird inertia hasn't he yes. yeah he's like on mm-hmm. momentum yeah. right yeah but I still think it's amazing, and also I think it's really, really good to play in portable because of how short each level is as well. Like all the levels are pretty short, and uh, they're over quick, so you can just like pick it up, do a couple of levels, and you yeah, and you're done. And, um, yeah. How far into it are you now? Like where are you at? I'm up to the second Bowser area, so that's like um, I don't know six, maybe eight. Two thirds. It's about yeah, it's about two thirds through, and I'm still yeah. planning to do it 100 percent because it's just. It's a very good Mario game. I think it's great. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, uh, but Matt, I, you've I, also I, been playing this. How you been finding it? Yeah, I mean, I still, I've, I've only played like basically just fa- finished off World Six. So, so, so you're already ahead of me, are you, James? Uh, yeah, yeah, about two worlds ahead now, I think. Um, so, um, I mean, I'm, I was going to ask you. Well, I don't want to get spoiled, but obviously, I'm like trying to hundred percent everything I can before I move on. Yeah. Is there something else that unlocks once you finish the game, or is this basically yes, it? yes? Okay, okay, amazing. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, it's, yeah. I'm still in loving fact, it. actually, like... you're kind of encouraged to just rush through it, oh, are and you? then go back and yeah, rush through it, get to the end, end of the story, and then it's like go back oh, and get the coins, and that's yeah, that's oh, okay, where the cool. it gets okay. like it's like Odyssey, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, anyway, yeah, I'm still loving it, and like um, I I found Peach, Peach is my favourite. Uh, first, obviously, I played as Mario because Elodie was a Pete. Uh, Elodie was Peach. But when I played a Mario, I was like, actually, no, it's like really useful to have that extra sort of, you know, bit of a uh, bit of a uh, lift, bit of hovering. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, but uh, I mean, do you think it is a game where oh, oh, you should switch to that character now for this bit, or is it really just nah. you can nah, choose where you like? I played the whole thing as it. Mario. Yeah, that's what I've been yeah. doing. When I played it. Yeah. Cool. Big yeah, man. Um, yeah, still I haven't played super. as much as I like, but I'm still going to get through it. It's it's just still great to play a Mario game, isn't it? Mm. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on, Mario. Oh, hold on. Sean's got Mario 3D World next to his name as well. He yeah. has. Did you get oh. the Wii U out? Uh, no, I bought the Switch version. Oh, yes. my God. Do you know what, do you know what did it? Okay. Do you know what did it? Um, it's, uh, it's nothing even to do with the game. Um, my dad remembered that he's on my Spotify family account and that he hasn't paid me any money towards it for about two years. So, nice. he sent, so he sent me 50 quid, and I was like, there we go. That's that's how much <laughs> that's, Mario costs. That's a touch. Uh, so yeah. like, uh, uh, very good, but what about the rest? It's like <laughs> five yeah. times 24. Yeah, that is. Well, this is, yeah, because I was a bit like, he's like, oh, is that enough? And I was like, yeah, of course. Because uh, no. I'd have the family account no. anyway, just like me and New, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, it's good. It's well good. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't think I've much to say about the original that you guys haven't already said. Um, I, I think it is, yeah, it is really interesting how well it suits um, being handheld, um, as James was saying, because the levels are so short. Because I know, like, 
with Odyssey, that was something they really consciously did, wasn't it? It was that like the levels are big, but at, like getting each star was what sort of moon rather was like there were all these like little challenges, and that was because they knew people might just be playing it five minutes here and there on the bus or whatever. Yeah. Um. So it's it's good that even though this game wasn't necessarily built for that, it does still work. Well, it kind of was. Um, like the series started on the 3DS. True. Yeah. So yeah, 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 the, yeah. the whole structure of it was carried over from the 3DS version. So. Yeah. Yeah, uh, which which you know, a lot of people have said, "Oh, what's that one like?" And it's not as good. Oh, it's still um, good. good. It's still pretty great. Yeah, yeah, still decent. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. But this is the this is they took that you know first stab at that idea and then just made it so much better. Yeah, totally. I might um, have to get Isaac on that because so yeah. So <laughs> the main thing I have to say about this is Isaac is fucking obsessed with it. Yeah, oh god. Um, <laughs> like obviously no he's yeah. he's liked. Mario, he's like, you know, he's tried to play a bit of Odyssey, but it's, you know, it's too hard for him at the moment. Um, and obviously he loves Mario Kart and, you know, um, and like playing Home Circuit and stuff. So <laughs> he, kept, like, he kept saying like, like, he'd be like oh, can, can we play Mario? And I'd say like, oh, do you want Mario Kart or do you want proper Mario? So he now calls this proper Mario. <laughs> like he was just, can we play pro- proper Mario? And I'm like, yeah, all right. Then. Nice. Um and it's it's weird because obviously there's a lot of things in the game that sort of try to make it not a problem if you're playing with someone who is shite at it. Um, he still manages to be quite irritating through no fault of his own sometimes. Like sometimes he'll just run off or like he'll ask me to sort of wait and let him do a bit. And then when I do, he starts like rubbing it in my face and, and being like, oh, I beat you, daddy, I did it. I was like, yeah, okay. Mate, you've got to get over that. No, I, I, yeah, and I am. Slowly, I know. What um, are you like with board games with him? Say you're playing a board game, do you let him win? Uh, we've not even got that far, to be honest. We've played like dominoes oh, right, okay. and stuff, but not like snakes um, and ladders and stuff. Um, no, I don't think we have actually. No, we haven't. Um, there's like there's a, there's See, a similar thing like in like one of his fucking Paw Patrol magazines or whatever. But no, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely fine with like letting him win. Um, yeah, but I'm not. Like Joe, <laughs> not not Isaac. I'm talking about Harry. Like Joe's yeah, yeah. always had a go at me because whenever we play a game, I'm in it to win it, right? <laughs> and I and I always say, like we're playing Jenga. Yeah. I ain't accidentally toppling the tower over. It's not happening. <laughs> I, and I I don't rub it in his face. Yeah, I just yeah. say to him, look, sometimes you, you, you're gonna lose, mate. Like mm-hmm. I, I I try and pitch it like I'm treating him. Uh, like I'm teaching him a lesson <laughs> in life. You see, I, I you do that just with like um, because yeah, there's been a lot of games where Isaac like will will happily watch me play it, and then I'll say like, "Oh, do you want to go?" And he'll say like, "No, it's too hard or whatever." And I'm like, "Mate, you've not even mm. tried it yet." You know, he's already talked himself out of it. So I, I make a point of like, if he's watching me play something and I get something wrong and I end up dying or whatever, I'll I'll say like, "Look." Daddy's rubbish sometimes as well, but you just try again and you get better. And you know. yeah, yeah, I do um, all that stuff. Yeah, but like the difference is that when Joe plays Mario Kart with him, mm-hmm. she'll wait on a corner to let him pass and get first place, and I won't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah, like with it. Mario Kart, like he's he, basically he I, like Isaac just thinks he's winning regardless, so he's quite happy for me to just play in like a normal, you know, a normal game of Mario Kart, and then I'll just sit yeah. around for two minutes while he does the next three laps. <laughs> the problem is with Mario Kart though, because of the rubber banding. Yeah. Like it, with Joe, he's always going to finish first. With mine, he's like he's finished in seventh <laughs> because <laughs> everyone else is trying to catch up with me. <laughs> he's just getting left behind. See, yeah, Asher yeah. gets fuck, like mate. super, super competitive now, like with a lot of really? this stuff. And but he's not good enough, like often for things. <laughs> but then the the worst is true. And 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 oh. I've we've addressed this. Sorry, future Asher. <laughs> who found this on a on a hard drive somewhere? Yeah, James <laughs> has just died, and you're going through all his stuff. But this episode was thing, though, in the will. The, yeah. the worst thing about it, though, is when we play <laughs> Mario Party because when we play yeah. that as a family, like all together, he has never won that ever. Because you know how random it is, and for it's some bullshit, reason, yeah. he just randomly never wins. And he's <laughs> hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa! When you play it together, you don't do the team based stuff. Yeah, we still we do the team based stuff, but he still comes last, like in in everything. <laughs> and then and then he just he just goes crazy, like every single oh, time. Man. It's awful, and especially yeah, it's yeah. just it's it's dreadful playing it with him because he just gets really upset and really angry because because it, it is ridiculously <laughs> unfair as well. You know, it's yeah, just yeah. like you get to the end and it's like, oh, the other team can have five stars for no reason. You know, and it's just yeah, it does. It's bad like that. Uh, I was say, I it sounds like it, a certain quiz. 
Nein, go on, go on. Um, but yeah, so it's it's that thing of like playing it with Isaac and it's like 80% magic and then 20% like, oh, fuck's sake. Um, but yeah, um, but doing the Bowser's Fury stuff with him has been really cool because he just flies around as Bowser Jr. and he doesn't really have oh, to do anything. And he's happy to do that? Yeah, yeah, so far. Um, cool. Yeah, Ash so that's been really good. not into that. Because it's like, is he not? No, nah, because he, you, because you can't have, you have so little control. Yeah, but he's older though, isn't he? On. I was thinking ha- Harry wouldn't, Harry would be into that, but like Charlie would be. Yeah, like yeah. as long as he's doing something, it'd be. Yeah, happy. yeah, yeah. Um, um, but yeah, no, Harry would absolutely not be interested in being Bowser's Fury <laughs> at all. I think that probably the best bit of doing Bowser's Fury with Isaac is that you know whenever Bowser like boots off. I've now got Isaac to go like, oh, not now, Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love shit like that. Um, I, I like yeah. it. When you first start that, it's at, um, Bowser Jr. is there and there's like, do you want me to help you? And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I mean, I, I didn't know what's going to happen. I was like, yeah, fine. Mm. And within 30 seconds, I was like, oh, no, 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 I don't need any help. I don't need any help because he's just there permanently unless you go and change it. I mean, you can, yeah, th- you can change. It. There's like three settings, isn't there? There's like no help, a bit of help and a lot of help. Um, yeah, I've just I got like it to set go, to go away. a bit, which basically just means he occasionally just gives the odd enemy a whack on the head or whatever, and fine. Um, but yeah, no, Bowser's of Fury stuff's wicked. Um, it's just really interesting. Like, I, you know, I don't think it's like the model for the next 3D Mario game necessarily, um, but it's incredibly cool and very, you know, like there's a lot of it. Um, like, I don't feel stupid having spent money on this, given that I already had the original in a box upstairs. Oh, no, absolutely you know? not, no. Um, Is this the yeah, first time we've fun. seen, like, them just stick Mario in a sort of platforming concept thing that they've just chucked out there? Um, I, I, can't I think guess so. Because it... like, you'd Go think on, that Nintendo would be really protective of anything Mario platform-related, well, right? Well, yeah, there's been there's loads of old ones, wasn't there, that were... were... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but you're going back to CDI. Mario Two, is what you're instantly thinking of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. CDI and stuff. Yeah, that's that's a long time ago. But now where they are, it, it feels strange that they're willing to, because it does very much sound like, based on what you guys have said and what I've read, it does basically sound like this is a like a concept, mm. and it's a cool concept, no doubt. It's a concept thing. Yeah. And it's is it weird that they've put this out, do you think? I mean, because uh, obviously it reminds me, not that it's similar to it, but obviously it reminds me a lot of the Captain Toad stuff in that, you know, in 3D World, it was kind of a, a you know, a bit of a sideshow. And it was like, oh, this is cool and interesting. W- wouldn't it be nice if they made a whole game of it? And then they did. And it was really good. But it was, right. again, yeah, it was sort of like, well, here's a set of levels that's kind of testing something new. But then it was only with Captain Toad. It wasn't with actual mario was it so yeah, yeah, I, yeah. this does look, feel different if you look back at it it is all just a long time ago they did a lot of experimental stuff you know with mm-hmm. this but yeah not not anymore at all it's, yeah like uh, in my head this this is like a, a oh wario's adventure you know or yeah. <laughs> luigi goes pop you know <laughs> something <laughs> like that it doesn't really feel like mm. mario now he's doing other shit what the fuck <laughs> oh look at this <laughs> uh, it just I mean obviously it'll just come down to whether or not people feel they've got the ideas for it right like obviously they did the Captain Toad levels and then someone obviously made a, a good enough pitch saying right right and here's what else we could do with it and we could put it in a box and charge 50 quid for it whereas <laughs> if, the if they've done bit. you know if they've done the, the Bowser's Fury stuff and someone's just held their hands up and said right this is cool but this is kind of it we haven't really got anywhere else to go with it then fine um, but I still think it's but, down to technology as well, though. With that, like, I don't think mm. that they could do like a full game like this. I just don't think it'd be. It'd be yeah, good. or it would still be like a series of open Hub areas, worlds, wouldn't, wouldn't it? it? it wouldn't, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't just be one massive world, which is kind of a shame because that's that's like if I have any criticisms of 3D world, and this is really stretching. It's not something any normal person should care about. It's it's like. Going from like Odyssey to 3D World is it's like, oh, this is a series of levels from a computer game rather than like, here are some places to explore. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Um, whereas with Bowser's Fury, it's a bit more... Yeah, but 3D World's really like just like a, a kind of trying to do a 3D take on on traditional Mario. Like it's on... Yeah, absolutely, yeah. That's what so I mean. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not really a it's criticism. It's just... Yeah, it's yeah. Really. yeah, it's just different uh, different focus, isn't it? But yeah, but, but Bowser's Fury has that thing of like... I mean, even though the you know the sort of the structures and stuff that you're running and jumping around are sort of kind of arbitrary and clearly there just to be a level from a computer game, it still feels like an environment. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, more like they're exploring more than 
3D world. But yeah, yeah, it's fucking great. It's really good. I'm really excited for you to play it, Dave. Cool. I'm this week, isn't it? To plan it this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. 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 After, oh my god, he's so excited for his birthday. He's <laughs> you know never he's been like yet. this before. No, no, I've told him it's out of stock everywhere. <laughs> um, I even turned around to Joe today and just went, "Oh man, we we need to find that." place that has that in stock like out just in earshot so I know you heard it. but I, I i think seven must be the one right where you're like birthday like that must be the age because mm. last year he was excited but it wasn't this like this is really? nuts yeah it, about eight times to me today he said it's my birthday on wednesday tomorrow's my birthday eve <laughs> like, <laughs> all right um, and you know he's fully aware that the first half of that day he's got to do schoolwork, which is going to oh, be a fucking fuck. nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, uh, it's going to be a tough one, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it anyway. Mm. Just <laughs> move over, kid. How long can I leave it before I say, "Can I please post this story, please"? <laughs> 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 Happy birthday, kid. Uh, can I have the switch? <laughs> Bring me the switch. Here's your present. Um, I yeah, do no. fucking schoolwork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's sitting there doing like maths or whatever. And he's hearing in the background. And you going, oh, Harry, mate, it. you should fucking play this, mate. It's brilliant. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, if what, what time is Harry going to bed? What time? Uh, all right. <laughs> no, it. I'm thinking basically like yeah, he goes to bed. You put on Bowser. You finish. You stay up like two or three in the morning. Finish Bowser. Delete the sofa. file. Next day, yeah. You know. a wiser. No, yeah, yeah, but I could do that now if I wanted. <laughs> so not not now, the... you're podcasting. And it also means that I've got to wrap his present at three in the morning. Yeah, fuck that. That's an awful no, plan, no, Matt. No, I mean, once, he, <laughs> once he's got the game, he goes to, you know, he goes to bed. You're oh, like, yeah, no, bounce. obviously I'm going to do that. Well, he's going to have his own I mean, save and everything, isn't he? Yeah, he's got his own profiles, right? Surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking Probably. about? Don't worry about next. Uh, this do you know how switches work? Well, Have you forgotten how the switch works? <laughs> just, just don't, just, no, just, let's not bother talking about it anymore. <laughs> okay. 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 Should we get into the PS5 stuff? Yeah. Look, I know some people are tired of this. Um, and I know I'm going to be talking about a console that's been out for several months and you don't care about uh, first impressions of anymore. But old, it's old hat you now, can fast forward. You can fast we'll forward. We're all waiting for PS6 now. How did you get it, Dave? <laughs> oh. Well, oh, there's a we story. do need to hear the story. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. It was just pretty mad. So, um, uh, so last week, oh, it was the night we recorded the podcast, wasn't it? Because we recorded on the Tuesday night, and then I went to bed, and then I've got terrible bladder. <laughs> I woke up at half one, I think it was, to go for a piss, and then I just looked at my phone, and it was like, oh gosh, they're going to drop, they're going to drop, and I thought, okay, let me have a look at the app, and it said add to cart delivery same day. And I was like, okay, I'll do that. And then it went through to the payment bit. And I was like, what the fuck? Okay. So I did that. And then it said, oh, no, you haven't. Yeah, it didn't go through. And I was like, okay, fine. So I tried it again. And it went, congratulations. Here's your, here's your, um, your confirmation. And uh, got the emails and texts from Argos and stuff like that. And I was like, right, okay. Check my bank. They're taking it twice. They're taking two payments for a console, so I was a little bit frustrated by that, but I thought, okay. Well, we'll technically, right. isn't it that the bank makes the funds available? It's not necessarily... That's right, that, yeah. and they didn't take them because yeah. the website was being overloaded, so yeah. it didn't register the fact that the funds had been put there. But yeah, anyway, yeah. a little bit a boring story. Um, I woke up the next morning, I had a text, and it was been delivered at nine o'clock, so that was a big panic because we were all supposed to be out. I was, on, I was in meetings all morning for the first time in God knows how long. <laughs> I was out of my house uh, in a meeting and um, uh, Joe, my wife, was planning to take the kids places. So we changed all our plans. I had to go and drop the kids places before I drove into London to go for this meeting and stuff. Um, and, uh, it arrived. I got a text at about um, half nine saying, here it is, like just a picture of it. And I was like, brilliant. Excellent. As I'm driving back, and this was about half 12, I'm thinking, wow. I finally got the PS5 after all that shit. I finally got one. I suppose the only thing that can go wrong now is if I open it and it's the wrong one. I genuinely had that thought. So 
I really needed piss when I got back, but I thought, I'm just going to check it's the right one before I go for a piss. Got up, opened up the wrapping. There it was, the black box with digital edition written all over it. <laughs> and I thought, oh, fuck. So I just urinated everywhere. <laughs> I just, just went and I, didn't just I just pissed directly on the box. Um, no, so I called them up and uh, Argos went, the person that I spoke to was like, yep, yep, we're going to have to just issue a refund and come and collect it. And I was like, you're kidding me. And I was like, no, it's not available anywhere. You can't get these things. And I was like, I fucking know. <laughs> um, and she said, yeah, sorry, you're just going to have to. So uh, I thought, oh, okay, all right, fine. Uh, come and collect it. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to be £900 down for a week because it takes them a week to release the funds back into your account and no PS5. So that's me out of the game for the rest of the month, basically. Um, and then I had a phone call about two hours later saying, Hello, yeah, uh, yeah, so we can get you one. We'll swap it tonight. And then, right, get this. This is totally true. They said, um, we won't update anything or, or, or send you any confirmations or anything because this is all sort of off the books. Um, <laughs> we, we'll, we, you know, if we do it like this, then you'll definitely get one. And I was like, this sounds like, like the biggest the load books. of books. Yes. <laughs> they're, not, they're not officially logging it as a refund or an exchange or anything. Mm. Because then she said, there's a whole process you need to go through where we have to collect it, yeah, do all yeah. this. Some bloke's going to turn up on my door, um, check that the PS5 digital is still in there, and then hand me one of the disc ones. And I was like, no fucking way. And she said, if you haven't got by 8 o'clock, then give us a call tomorrow and we'll see what we can do. And I was like, okay, here we go. Half eight, you know, come and gone, n- nothing arrived, and I'd given up hope at that point. Quarter to nine, I get a knock on the door. There's a bloke there. You all right? PS5? Yep. <laughs> uh, so there's the digital one. Do you need to check it's in there and everything? Yeah, I'm sure it's all right. Then off they went. And then, that was it. And then I got the PS5. And then we had to watch that fucking Nintendo Direct. So <laughs> it was not a happy first uh, evening with a box, but it's all sorted. I've got one. I'm happy. And I've got some thoughts on it. Should, should I go to the console first before I go into games and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely. Okay, so I've got some cons, obviously, um, but before I go into them, I will say overall, I am really, really happy with it. Like, really happy. I've loved using the thing for the past week, um, like for sure. It's been really fun to use. I've enjoyed my, I've jo- enjoyed the majority of the experience. I've in- loved the games that I've played on it. Um, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with it. I think it's it's um, it's been a more exciting. Um, experience getting this than it was getting the Series X, yeah, which is definitely. understandable because the Series X had no no new games and it wasn't anything new, you know. Um, so getting this PS5 was like, oh, this feels like it's got something about it, you know, that I haven't played before. So that's exciting. Um, I will say this, right? So let's start with the console. Looks horrific. Looks even worse than I thought it would. <laughs> I've seen one in the flesh before, but not in my living room. Joe walked out of the room. Joe walked out of the room and wouldn't talk to me for 20 minutes after I set it up. She said, well, can you, she said, can you put it on its side up on the, we've got like a little, um, storage. What do you call it? Like Like a a cabinet freestanding shelving. It's like a freestanding, freestanding, like it's one of those box ones that you got from Ikea. They've got kids toys in it basically. Um, And she was like, can you put it on the side and up on there? And I went, well, we could try it. We did that. And she was like, nope, that's not, that looks terrible as well. So then I did it on the, uh, it's, she was really angry. Right. And I said, well, I can't, you know, for what else am I supposed to do? And at one point she was saying, is there enough room behind the telly? Like, and my telly's on a wall, so I don't know what she was thinking. Uh, then she was like, can you put it in one of those cam- canvas boxes um, <laughs> and keep it in there just with the wires coming out? And I was like, ventilation! <laughs> uh, so, so she's not happy. And I get it because I look at it and I'm still not over it. I think it is, it's the worst piece of, like, worst looking piece of tech I've ever owned. It's fucking shocking. Um and you get these people going, oh, I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. I can't. I can't wait for them to bring out black flaps. I'm definitely buying them. I'm definitely buying I know that, what is it, D-Brand are doing them, right? Yeah, yeah. Have loads, you seen them? Loads of people have done like stickers and stuff you can get now. If you yeah, really I'm, I'm not getting you stickers. To. No, no, no. no. I think, yeah, D-Brand one, are once... selling actual replacement yeah, flaps. Yeah, the actual flaps, yeah. Yeah, but they're $60. 
Like, fuck off. <laughs> but and why are they they'll... getting away with it when PlayStation 5 couldn't? I, I think because they realise that they can't do anything about it. Producing a bit of plastic mm. in the sh- same shape is not, not against copyright, is it? Yeah, yeah. It can't be. Right, I, unless I, I unless bet actually, like, I mean, are. like, obviously D Band have, have looked at all the legal stuff. Play, PlayStation probably didn't. Probably said, let's just be cheeky. D Brand would probably love it if Sony took them to court. It's like True. more, more uh, publicity for them, but they've obviously done the homework. And, uh, you know, if it happens, they'll love it. <laughs> I, will, you know? I, will, I will get, um, I will replace the white, the black. It's the white that looks really bad. I mean, mm. the size of it is the worst well, the bit size, about yeah. it. But. But yeah, they, um, if it, that was all black, then fine. It would sort of just it would be, be accepted. Much less sort of obtrusive, wouldn't it, if they'd have done that? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. It just looks ridiculous as it is. But whatever, you know, whatever. Consoles look the way they look. I can't believe how big it is. I cannot believe how big it is, but whatever. Um, there's an annoying thing that it does when you're playing disc games, or even when you're not playing disc games and you've got a disc in the machine where it just wells up. Yeah, yeah it does you've do that sometimes. That, right? Yeah, mm. it does that that's sometimes. That's well yeah. annoying. Why? I don't know. It it doesn't do it very often, but yeah, occasionally it just spins it the drive up, doesn't it? about every 45 minutes to an hour? I yeah, don't know that when much, you're playing a game, yeah. it's just... What, yeah. You're like, why are you doing that? It's a really <laughs> noisy disk drive. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've not heard many people complaining about that, but that's fucking annoying. Um, I cannot believe after the PS4, they've still managed to do an eject... And a power button I know, yeah. that you don't know which one to press. <laughs> <I know. laughs> How has that happened? I mean, yeah, but it's better because the because you know because the it's bigger worse. one is the uh, huh? The bigger one? They're the same size, aren't they? No, they're different sizes. Hold Sorry. on. Yeah, yes, they are. I've never touched any of them, so I don't know. The, 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 the bigger one is the power one. I mean, I have mine still right. up, so it's the they bottom are one. Slight, right, okay. They are... Uh, it's not well, no, a no, massive no, no. difference in size. Yeah. They're okay, also yeah, yeah, exactly the same up. shape and it's right next to one. each other. I know other. that. It's the bottom, the bottom big one. It's the bottom one. If right. you ever just okay. lay down, it's on the left-hand side. They're different sizes. You can just touch you, them and think out the bigger one. Yeah, but they're, not, they're, but they're also both black on black, like, shiny plastic, <laughs> Right. So you're not looking at them and going, they're two different buttons, even if one's slightly bigger than the other. They're right next to each other. And you could say, you had that, we all had that problem with the PS4. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. And in that case, one was one side of the console and one was the other. It was still, you still second guess which side you were pressing. Yeah, but now I just know. And they had the eject and power power symbols on them. For me. It's it's just, I hate it. It's still still not great, but it's better. I know it's the bigger power. You don't second guess it when you're ejecting the disc. No, because I know I know it's the big bo- the big one at the bottom for me. Yeah, but again, you could say, oh, the oh, power sorry, the was on the PS4. One. Anyway, right, the, you're wrong. It's still annoying. <laughs> Make it more obvious. Right, <laughs> that's that's my point. Um, what is, it is quieter than I thought it would be though. Yeah, but I think is. that's because I got all my information from James Farley. I know because you've got a bit of a problem with well, yours, and yeah, that's the thing because you you recorded yours and then I listened and it's just yeah, mine definitely does have some sort of problem. Um, compared with yours, because it's it's definitely louder. How long are you going to leave it before you send it back? I don't know. I mean, as I said, it's not it's not so loud as it's a problem. It's just irritating that it's that I know that it shouldn't be this loud. It's um yeah. Mm. But I don't know. Okay. Should I send? Mo- it moving on to. I don't know. Should I send it Go back on. or not? I don't know if it's a yeah, good Yeah, that's idea the not. problem, isn't it? You need to confirm that they're going to fix it or exactly. do something about it. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't really want to bother yeah. otherwise. Why don't you send it back to the retailer? Yeah, I could do that. Oh, because you won't fucking get one. That's still, of exactly. course, a yeah. stupid idea. Yeah. Or um, no, James will get a digital one. Yeah. Or, or <laughs> yeah. a box of bricks. Yeah, it could happen as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, the controller. I really love the controller. Really love it. I mean, yeah, I, I, I maintain, it. I think it looks awful and I can't wait to get... I just think it would look better if it was all white. That that plate bit at the bottom. But who cares, right? You're not looking at the pad. Um uh, I think it feels really nice in the hands. Um, I maintain that they should just put the stick where the D-pad is. Like, I will never understand mm. their approach to that. I mean, we've spoken about this before, and you were saying, oh, no, it's sort of a brand thing. But it's a nah. brand thing based on a decision that they made when they just wanted to stick two fucking analog sticks at the bottom of the pad yep. because that's all the place it would go. Why would you consist? Why would you bring that across? Like, it's so frustrating. Because that's the only thing I don't like about it, I think. 
It's the only thing I don't like about yeah, the pad. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I would rather it. Well, yeah, you are. I'd rather the stick was where the D pad was, but I'm, I'm used to it, and it is. Yeah, just I'm like, used this to is it. Just a PlayStation and it's pad. not a major problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to it. It's not yeah. a major problem, but I would prefer it if they just switched it. Who gives a fuck? Oh no, we have them at the bottom. Why? Because we did it <laughs> once. It does. <laughs> well, it does. It, just. But- Overall, though, the Dual Sense like it does feel so much nicer than the than the Dual Shock. I think because it's bigger oh, as well, fuck. which is it, one of the things. It's night and day for me. I love I, how I love how it feels. Yes, yeah, so nice. I liked I liked the Dual Shock Four, right? I never loved it. Like it always got to. But if I if I was playing for like an hour and a half or whatever, I'd always be conscious of what's in my hands, and that's never a good thing. Um, with this, I think it's such a huge step forward over that controller that. Um, yeah, I was well happy when I first started using it. Properly happy. D pad's pretty shit, but other than that, I think it's pretty faultless. Um, as for the the stuff that it does, you know, the the I think I love the vibration stuff. Mm-hmm. I love the um, yeah, the way it does all that. I'm not a fan of the triggers, you know. Like uh, the triggers when they're not being used. Okay, they're fine. They're triggers. I I've, I've had to turn the the intensity down because it not it just got annoying really? did you get to that point really? have you turned the intensity down nope no i haven't yeah, changed that. A, i didn't know it was a setting it's just really. a bit annoying like what in what games specifically um Generally. okay so let's talk about astrobot right because that's where it's like used at its most intense yeah I like, you know, when you're holding on to the zip thing that's zipping you along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can I feel love the that. zips. I think that, I think that, I feel that's great. I think that's great. Right. But when you come to something where like, like the spring stuff. The I spring thought, stuff is oh. everyone. Yeah. Everyone has a kind of, uh, is it, it feels like you're going to break the pad. Well, yeah, there's that. And it's just like, it doesn't need to be this intense to get that fault across you know, know to I get like across it. what you're trying to do but, yeah, yeah I, I didn't have an issue with it it was just, I just felt, uh, no, no, it I, made like that I, I, thing very neat yeah i haven't got an issue with it as such i just found it a bit annoying it was like okay so i turned it down anyway and it was fine um i just that's done at a system level and that's what worries me like because you play miles morales or whatever and it feels a lot more you know user friendly in that regard like it's not as intense so you'd have to go back in and turn it up, or it would have been. But whatever. Okay, I, I, the triggers didn't blow me away, but the 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 haptic feedback stuff really did. I really like that stuff. Um, it feels cool. Uh, uh what was the last thing I said yeah, about in it? Stuff like Astro, I mean, you'll probably, you'll probably talk about Astrobot a lot more, but like in Astrobot, where you walk over it's like grass or I, oh, yeah, grass or ice or a shiny surface and. Uh, and or sand, it's you know, it's 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 a cool, it's cool what they do to make it feel like that. Yeah, I see. Um, okay, we'll talk about that later. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that stuff later. But um, right. uh, and the battery. The last thing I had to say about that was the battery life was better than I expected because I know it's nowhere near as good as it is on the on the Xbox controllers because it just isn't. You know, you can go weeks without charging that up. Whereas I've found every two days maybe I've needed to charge up the Dual Sense. Um, and you know the battery life's nowhere near as bad as it was on the PS4. And I'm talking from launch as well, because that controller needed charging every fucking night. It was a nightmare. Um, and I've been using this console quite intensive, uh, intensely over the past like week, uh, and I've found that it's not been draining anywhere near as far. So I'm happy that they've, they've addressed that a little bit. So that's the controller. Going to the OS. The OS I've found fine. There was a lot of complaints about, oh, turning it off the pain in the ass. But I've been okay with that so far. Um, I just find that it's kind of bare bones so, is one sorry, word. Sorry, turning off as in turn a console off. Yeah, turning a console yeah, off. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I yeah you, you, you know, like, turning the OS off. Like, no, 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 <laughs> no, that would be weird. Uh, you just get a blue screen. No, um, I think it's a little bit overly complicated for no reason. Or no, that's not the because it's not. It's insanely simplistic. But it feels like if you want to do anything other than play a game, you've got to go about it in a strange way. Yeah. Do you find that? Yeah, I'm like because we we chatted about this over over like Messenger or whatever. Because it's it's it is weird like that side side of things because they've geared it all around these cards like that you you know that's the the first thing you okay. see you yep. know when you're dealing with things. Which I think, as I said when we were talking about it, it's like that begins to make more sense when you start to use them when you're start you know if you're like mopping things up or whatever but it makes less sense overall because 
you don't really use them that much. I've, I've never so found myself using thinking, that much. So here's what I'm thinking. I think I've I've sussed what I would have done. Mm-hmm. Right. I think I've worked out what I would have done. In my opinion, the cards should be a gesture on the on the touchpad. To bring up the so you take that away from the PS button on the controller, and if you want the cards to come up, you swipe up on the touchpad, and everything else, the system stuff, is all done with that PS button. That like it was on the PS one. Because no one uses the touch stuff anyway. You know, it's anything that you can do on a touchpad to swipe up, you could do with motion controls. Like I was thinking about the ball levels in Astro Bot. You could just control that by tilting the controller. That's fine. You know, instead, it well, just, it just makes yeah, so much yeah, more can. sense. How many games use that touchpad? Use that for OS stuff then. I'd love to be able to just I'm flick not, up I mean, on the pad having, and see those cards. I mean, in that case, don't bother having a touchpad at all. Why, why build it into the hardware for then, oh, that's just to bring up the cards? It's like, no way, we'll use software no, but for that. Why would we you could use it, have hardware for that? No, but as Dave right, said, so, you can use it for the OS level, level stuff, like to flick between things or do gestures and stuff. That would be great like, if yeah. they let you do that. That would, that would be fantastic. And, and what I'm saying, Matt, is that I feel that a big problem with the OS is that they're trying to do too much with that PS button and then they're prioritizing the wrong things that you do with it. And if also, you take all sorry. of that game level stuff and put it on it, because originally I was thinking all this game level stuff would be great on a different button to what you want to do with your PS button. But having it on both complicates, overly complicates something that should be simple. And I was thinking, well, why don't you just have that on pressing in the touch button, the touch bar? But then I thought, well, no, actually games use that as the sort of the select button that you used to have. Um, so why don't you just use the gestures? That would be perfect for that stuff. I um, I think they'll add a setting in the future where you can change what the sort of default action is of pressing down. So you might be able to change, you know, change it to legacy mode, if you will. And like, oh, now if you select it, if you hold it, if you press it once, it will go to whatever it was on PS4, you know. So you're also, but wouldn't it be better if you took those two different functions and instead of prioritizing them one or the other, you separate them out into two um, actions? Yeah, no, I, uh, I've said this before. I've, if the, it feels kind of overly designed and it's not as functional as it was. And it, it take, I mean, maybe after years, I'll just get fully used to it. But it just, it's not as, inst- as instinctive as it was on PS4. And uh, it looks nicer for sure, but it, does, it feels like everything just feels a little bit one step too far away and not quite as what no, it, you fully, know, what fully it was. Te- uh, it doesn't feel as fully tested as maybe as it maybe as it should have been the other thing Do you know what i mean the other thing that's I really, how i feel bad but it must have had tons of testing i i, I don't think that, that that's not a reason like, it, it but, clearly no, must that, have, I'm, I'm not saying that they haven't done it i'm saying that that's how it feels it feels like they've it, it doesn't feel like a lot of people have sat down and gone i want this to be what this button does you know what I mean? And that they've yeah. taken that feedback. But in reality, board. they must have had, you know, probably hundreds of people testing over hundreds of hours and, uh, the, you know, the net result was this is, this overall is, is a better way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it feels a bit mad. But, um, and yeah. I, I mean, the cards thing, um, I've never really used. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think I've, I still haven't even tried like the video stuff, which I should probably do, but. Harry uses know. it all the time. So I've seen it being used a lot. Okay. He, that's cool. uh, yeah, he hundred percented Astro Bot um, today actually, and uh, yeah, he's been using those tips and stuff. Um, wow! So nice. that's been pretty cool. It's perfect for him because you know he's not at a level where he's going to spend. Oh, he's not got the patience to go through a, a level and explore forever. So him just having that little video there and watching where the next puzzle piece is. Is um is fantastic for him. Sorry, James, you've been trying to talk for about half an hour. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> no, I mean the the other thing that I really wish that you could do with it is that I don't feel it's customizable enough either. Like you know, no. like the you know, like if you if you press down, then you get like the all the menu options, and you can reconfigure some of those to like where you want them to place and stuff like that. But it would be much better if it was really like a dock, you know, where you could just pin stuff that you wanted, you know, to be able to get like quick access to and stuff. Because some of those options are not really things I'm ever going to use or really be well, that no, bothered no, no, about. No, it, it's worse than that. You can turn them on and off, yeah, but you can't change the order. That's what, I'm, yeah, <laughs> that's like, what I mean. Yeah, you you can do that, yeah. but you can't. So the things you don't want, you're not going to use. Turn them off. That's great, but 
the things are still in the same position. But yeah, I just wish yeah. I wish it's you could also, just add things um, that you wanted there. You know, would be would be useful. You know, but you can't do that, which is yeah. a shame. It's also the polar opposite of the system that I've been using the most over the past like seven years. Like you know, the Microsoft OS is so crowded. When you load that console up, there's so much on screen at once. But maybe this is partly because I'm used to it. But I appreciate having so many, so much stuff on that original screen that I can go. I want to go here now. I want to do that. I bring up the guide, and everything that I need is there. It's completely overloaded. You have to use tabs and go down to certain areas. And I bet it's well intimidating if you've not used that before. Like you know, like fucking hell, there's so much on it. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Um, but at the same time, I appreciate just once you know where that is, it's really easy to access. Whereas, like on this, they've simplified everything, which looks way nicer, but the functionality isn't quite as um, as good. But in this, my this opinion. is why I this is why I prefer the PS4's OS like over the Xbox One because I felt for me I just preferred the simplicity of that. You know, it was okay if you wanted to get into deeper settings, it was more of a hassle. But if you just wanted to switch on, play some games or whatever, I always felt that it was easier than the Xbox was. You know, to do that. I felt there was less barriers okay. and there was there was less space used up by you know adverts and all that kind of thing. I I just preferred that. But you're right with this. They they it feels like they've simplified this down too much in a sense, and there's no customizability, yeah. which is the the problem. And a, and the final point before I go on to the uh, like the overwhelming positivity I've had with this system because I'm not slagging it off at all because um, I've really enjoyed my time with it is that fuck me you do you really do miss quick resume. Like, after you've been using the Xbox for a long time, you go to that, you really, really do miss quick resume, especially because I'm flicking between a lot of single-player games. And it's like, okay, they load fast, that's great, but then you're going back to the main menu and then loading up to where you want to go and then either starting a level again that you quit out halfway through or whatever, doing all that stuff. Whereas I've now got used to clicking on a game and it going, boom, there you are just where you were and that i hope they implement something yeah, like that it's not the same i mean like you can get into miles morales in you know 20 seconds or whatever it's that, still, still quick, going it's, that's, it's also, cards that's also what the cards are for though like that's why that's the other reason for that system is that you know you bring up the cards and then you just choose where you want to go in the game and then it loads it yeah but, so the problem with yeah, that james is place. that is that a you've got to navigate to the cards pick which cards you want and then it loads up to that specific point in the game. Yeah. Whereas when I'm flicking between games on Xbox, I click the button, it goes quick resume, and you're exactly where you were before. Yeah. And th- that's a big difference. Like it's it's just you're there, and I really miss it when I'm using the PS5. But I think that will become it's only this initial rush where I've got four or five games that I'm playing on it at once. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, I I fully intend to use this machine as my sort of single player uh, machine with all the great games that come out on these uh, on the Sony like the exclusive games that come out on it to just you know play a game stick with it and then play it to the end and then so if I'm not flicking between games it's not going to be as much of an issue yeah yeah this for me is like it was Sony exclusives and and yeah that's it pretty much I guess and so anyway like incredible comes out speaking of which let's get on to those we'll start with Astrobot um they they needed they need to make an Astrobot game they do, it's, don't they? Yeah. they absolutely I, do. I love it. Look, I, I you know, I'm not gonna lie to you, if you put this or uh and uh um Astrobot rescue mission in front of me and say what is the better game? Well it's it's rescue mission because that's more of a complete game, right? There's more of it, there's more stuff going on there. But for what this is, what Astro's Playroom is, is fucking brilliant. Like it's brilliant. The, you know, there's a few areas that I don't like. I think they overdo the gimmicky stuff a bit. You know, the, you, when I say the gimmicky stuff, I mean the gimmick suits that Astro gets in. You know, I think one per level would be enough. I think the bits where you're actually platforming is way better than any of that stuff. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but like, I mean, what, which didn't you like? I mean, the spring was probably my least favourite, but yeah, I didn't the monkey dislike one was awesome. And... I didn't dislike any of them, but there are four sections. There are four worlds, Sean, mm-hmm. and there are four sections to each world, right? And they've got a format where you do normal Astro um, uh, platforming. 
then you do say a bit where you're climbing a mountain as a monkey robot. Right. Then the third area is astro um, platforming, and then the fourth area is the climbing as the monkey again. And I'm oh. like, fuck, man! I'd love for one of those to be one of the two monkey sections to be more platforming because those bits are so good. Mm. They're so good. Yeah. And each one of those. Um, so you've got like the the climbing sections, you've got the ball sections, you've got the um, the spring and the spaceship. Each one of them are so cool because they do interesting stuff with the pad, and um, like it's it's really it shows off the pad stuff really well. But it's kind of like okay, I've done that. I don't need that to be a little bit more complicated and harder later on. It's not needed. Mm. I just want to go back to because the platforming's so good. You know what I mean. But anyway, regardless, I, I don't know why I'm po- picking up the negatives. It's it's just, it's one of those games, and it's been said a lot on various different podcasts, it's one of those games where I wish I l- knew more about um, PlayStation and had more nostalgic feelings towards PlayStation, because it celebrates everything. I never yeah. owned a PS1, I had a PS2 and PS3, but they were, well, PS2 was my main console uh, for that gen, PS3 um was not my main console for that gen um and then ps4 certainly wasn't um so i feel like i've missed out on quite a lot of the stuff a lot of those video game references that you see in it i'm kind of like i don't even know what that is uh so <laughs> you know it feels like i wish i was more sort of involved in the world of playstation um and that's just if anything that's a credit to the game and and how much it it presents that stuff how well it presents that stuff yeah it made me sentimental when i never really thought of playstation in that same way but it's just yeah, like when you sure. see all like the mach- all the machines and all the peripherals and all like the lovely touches they do in like that main labo area yeah. um yeah it's, it's but, but it's, my it's my brilliant. my point is this my point is this what's frustrating about playing this game is that they they need to bring out a 15 hour platformer game based around astrobot absolutely yeah you, they've clearly got the talent to pull it off yeah you know those speed the speed challenges clearly show that they understand what's so good about platforming you know to get a game out the, the the music's great the fucking gpu song everyone talks about it is brilliant we've been singing it around the house like constantly it's, yeah, and the, the it, lyrics on the wall. It's just, yeah, they've got the ideas, they've got the passion, they've got the skills, clearly. But just, yeah, give them what they need to make a full, fully-fledged Mario-style proper 3D game. It'll yeah, Astrobot. They've got the ideas as well, and they could do yeah. stuff with that pad, definitely, that they haven't done here. You know, they, they, you, you feel that they could, they could do so much more with it. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully they come to their senses and release something for it because because yeah. i think I'd when we finished, it, definitely yeah when this game came out we said okay you know uh astro bolt rescue mission brilliant but it was you know is like vr so it's like obviously a smaller audience mm. this is like a free you know, it came free with a machine but no one like, can get older than the they machine pick up so many fans <laughs> yeah. on the way like mm. come on g- give us a full give us a full astro bot game we want now harry harry turned around to me today and said it's the best game he's ever played now six-year-olds <laughs> wow. say that about everything but <laughs> no, they do. They get carried away with everything. But I think what it was is that he played it from start to finish, 100%ed it without a single piece of help from me. Once he asked me to help him, and that was for one of the really tight roll, rolling the ball levels, uh, rolling the ball bits. And um, he smashed it. He smashed it. He was so proud of himself. And that, that final boss is not easy. You know what I mean? Not for a six-year-old. Um, and he did it like right. for a try, and he was so proud of himself. Um, it was yeah, it was great to see him get into it. And uh, even though he's collected everything in it, he's kind of like, I'm still going to be playing this. And I was like, well, what are you going to do? I don't know. Just well, it's an easy platinum. Yeah, yeah it's true. That. What is it Gets though? Because right? I wanted to talk about this. Um, oh, and I, before I move on to this, I have smashed all of your your times on on the time <laughs> trials for. For the four main platforming ones, yeah, anyway, the other ones I didn't yeah. really try. <laughs> Did he really? Did he, that must have frustrated you when you turned your PS5 not, on, James. Not really, because I, I switched it on and it was like, you've got loads of notifications. And it was just like, David has beaten you on this. David has beaten you on this. And it was just like, every single one I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> I guess I better turn it back on then. <laughs> oh, come on, Matt. 
Um, you ain't got a chance, mate. One of your ones I knocked about 10 seconds off of. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, maybe turn it back on. Uh, what, what was the... Yeah, well, so, at least I know which button to press. It, this isn't... A, <laughs> this isn't a, <laughs> good point. This isn't a, um, uh, a diss on this game at all. Right? But uh, when I heard that you guys had platinumed it, I thought, okay, yeah, I'll get the platinum. I've never got a... I don't think I've ever got a platinum on a PlayStation game. I'll, I'll go for this. But it does that annoying thing that lots of games do now. Where So I looked at what trophies that I needed to get about halfway through playing it, and there was a load of hidden trophies on there. And I was like, okay, fine. So I completed the game and didn't get a platinum. And I thought, oh, that's weird. It, you know, I've, I've collected everything, but I haven't got the platinum here. That's okay. That's bizarre. So I thought, okay, it must be that you've got to complete all of the speed challenges as well, because they're the things, they're the only things I didn't do. So I went and did that, and again, didn't get the platinum. So I'm at a situation where I've done all the speed challenges, I've collected everything, I've done everything, done all the um, the f- fruit machine bollocks. It's not fruit machine. What is it? Crane game bollocks. Yeah. Um, and. It still says like there's a bunch of hidden trophies Dave, on there. Do you know about the hidden trophies and how you can find out what they are? Go on. So there's an option in the middle. I've forgotten which button it is. You press, but you press a button and it tells you what the tro- what the hidden trophy is. So what is the point of it hiding? <laughs> because some people don't want to know and they want to just discover it. But then if you want to, you can also just find out what it is. It's not difficult. But that's so dumb. Why would you? Do what? Because again, it's like it's like those posts. No, it's it's like it's like a spoiler post on something. It's like some people don't want to see the spoiler, but other people do. So you just yeah, and ultimately want to hear about trophies or achievements because they're like spoilers. Don't I I get that? But that's why they were introduced. They were introduced because they would obviously give something away within that game that you don't want to know about, right? But I'm assuming these hidden ones are like jump on a thing four times. That's not saying that you want to put yeah, the some of them are trophy. hidden just to yeah, just for the sake of being elusive, aren't they? Yeah, in, in which case, a difference but then that's between... surely that's that's the argument for hiding them, but then letting you reveal them. Yeah, if I you guess. Want. Yeah, like, I guess I'll have a look. But, but... I, I think a lot. I mean, most of them. You, you, if you play enough or like experiment enough, say with you know all the peripherals and just play all the races enough, then you will just naturally get them. I think. Um, there was a couple. No where I was like, oh, There's okay. one where it was like. Get the thing to chuck up ten bots into the air by pissing it off. You know that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, but you can do that in the hub. But I, I think I, I think it's is that, yeah. I know you no, can, no, but you need to be told to I, do it. Once I get chased by ten of them in the hub, I think or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Which you'd naturally do, but you wouldn't yeah. naturally go over to that that dome thing and then piss that robot off and get him to chuck ten of them up in the air. No, yeah. no, some of them are hidden. It's it's weird. It's just. It's bizarre. But, like, yeah. I mean, but, but when you finish that game, you you probably have like seventy five percent of them anyway, just by yeah, playing. Uh, yeah, I have now. Yeah, so, so I'll, uh, I probably I didn't know that, James. So thanks for that. I'll I'll check that out. Um, but yeah, Astrobot's brilliant. Actually. That needs to be that needs to be a a, a full game. Um, but that needs to be a proper game. Uh, right. So the other game that I'm going to talk about this week, I have played others. I'd started Bug Snacks. I've started. Um, uh, what is it, Sackboy's Big Adventure? I've played like the first world and a half of that, mm-hmm. maybe two worlds, um, or whatever you want to call them. Um, but I'll save them for another time because the other game I've been playing is Miles Morales Destruction All Stars. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I, I did, I started that as well. I started okay, cool. that and well, look forward to hearing your. Views I don't on know if one. I'm going to play any more of it. I just did the yeah. tutorial and I was like, Oof, not very I good, do is it? <laughs> It's just not <laughs> very fun. Let, let's get together for a big old night of destruction all stars. Yeah. I don't know. Um, uh, w- w- what I'm interested in with that game is what they're going to do with it afterwards. It's got to be in the PSN collection, it, right? It has to be just like remaining free. I can't see how they're going to charge. No, they this. can't remain. They can't just do it as a free to play. Like, like they, they can't announce it as free no, to play. No, they'll, they'll, it'll just because stay. Means- it'll just stay in, uh, as like a PSN, you know, PS Plus thing. I think. They just won't take it out, and it'll just be like every month you get it. Well, no, if they improved. move it to the collection, if you own the PS5, then you've got it in that yeah. PlayStation collection yeah. thing that make they sure branded. You collect, make sure you click on all of them, by the way, to add them to your library. Yeah, I noticed that. That was a weird thing, wasn't it? Because a lot of people probably don't, and then when they expire, like, oh, hang on. But yeah, you've yeah, got to add everyone to your library. You're essentially purchasing that, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. bizarre. Um, but anyway, 
Um, so Miles Morales, uh, I'm playing it in the new well, the 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 mode that was added afterwards, the ray tracing 60 frames version, and they've achieved mm-hmm. that by slightly lowering the resolution and removing a lot of the traffic and the crowds, um, yeah, yeah, the crowds and stuff, which I'm fine with. I'm happy with that. Um, and I started playing it, and I was like, James, why off base here? This is not the best looking game anyone's ever seen. Uh, in fact, actually. I was expecting it to look a lot better. <laughs> Do you know why that is, James? Why? Because for some reason, and I guess it was a good idea, they start you off in the dark. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't look, it don't look great. It looks okay. It doesn't look bad. Certainly doesn't look bad. But then the, the story progresses and, you know, the sun rises and then you're in daylight. When you're in full daylight, it's like, wow. This is what ray tracing can do. Like this looks, this looks unbelievable. And it's just glimpses of it. You know what I mean? You'll be flying by a building at full pelt, but it's just the glimpse of the reflection off everything that makes it look so much more realistic. Even though it is, to some extent, stylized that game. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not a photo realistic game, um, and it wasn't on the PS4. But there are moments of photo realism in it. It's, it really does feel like a uh, an optical illusion rather than, hey, look at this photo realistic world. It's like a stylized world that suddenly makes you go, fuck me, that looks real. Yeah. That yeah. thing. The, you know, that's how it works. And my word, yeah. And look, I, I've said this before, but this game drums at home. Miles Morales is such a better character with such a more interesting... and. This is being said by someone that's never been into Spider-Man. So, you know, I'm sure there are people that disagree with me and have legitimate reasons for saying this. But as an outsider playing these games, these two games next to each other, I'm way more into Miles than I ever was Peter Parker. I tell you that. (laughs) Um, Yeah, a million times. Yeah, the movement, the way he talks to people, the reactions to things, everything about it is brilliant. Um, And I'm at a point now where... hmm, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I'm, I felt like I've been pushed towards story missions and um, I'm at a point now where I'm just like, I am doing a fuck ton of side quests now. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm totally focused on because I was thinking I could press on and I kind of want to press on, but at the moment I'm quite happy to just whip the whiz about doing these little side missions. Um, and yeah, I've unlocked the three, four, four suits that you're allowed to, just by doing like collecting tokens and stuff. So I've got the Miles Morales suit. Um, I, uh, isn't that supposed to have like changed the frame? You, you mean the, the Spider-Verse suit? The Spider-Verse suit. Yeah. 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 Cause it doesn't do that by default, right? That I don't know. Uh, I, I, think, yeah, when you ha- I think, isn't it when like your, uh, your meet, your, your sort of, I think when you've got the, your special ability, I think that's when it does it. I could be oh. Right, okay. Okay, so I need to unlock that. I thought so, because I was like, this looks... I, I, I must admit, I don't think... That'll be something that I'll try once and go, that's neat, but it'll fuck with my eyes too much, so I won't keep it. <laughs> yeah. But I was interested that, yeah, it didn't do that, turn that on by default. But him just wearing that suit is fantastic, because it's, again, it's a really cartoony suit. Um, And then when you're whizzing past these like really realistic buildings, it's kind of like, fuck, that's... The juxtaposition of that looks really fucking good. So that's what I'm jumping about in. But yeah, the the, com- the combat is really good. We've uh, discussed that. Um, the fact that <laughs> the fact that when you go into those warehouses now, like uh, in the previous game, you went into the warehouse. It was like th- there was these missions. Did you play this, Sean? You did, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, the original, yeah, yeah. Of course you did. You know those side missions where you go into like a a skylight for a warehouse, yeah, and then you bring up a loading screen. And it was like 45 seconds to a minute waiting mm-hmm. for it to load. And then it was just a combat area. And you were just kind of like, oh, I'm not going to do one of them again just because it takes a while to get into it. Now it's hilarious. You go to the skylight, you open it up, and then you just land on the beam below the skylight. <laughs> like there's no say, there's no loading whatsoever. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I've just checked actually. You've got, to, you've got to equip the two mods that come with the suit. In right, order to okay, gotcha. Mm, okay. Mm, gotcha, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, as I say, I'm... I'm going to be gutted when that's over. And I think that's the other thing that's worrying me a little bit. So really enjoyed um, uh, Astro's Playroom, really enjoyed Spider-Man. The other games 
are the type of games that I might fall off of, but you know, I'll reserve judgment on that stuff till I'll give them a proper good go. And I must admit, the stuff that I've played of Sackboy has been really good fun. Um, but it, it kind of feels like, ah, oh, I'm going to get to the point with this PS5 now where it's going to sit there for a few months not doing anything. Yeah, it's it's still My, it still is really missing, like, what's next? And that that's the problem. I mean... And that's, for, and that's for natural a, for a launch, launch console as well, isn't it? That's not a diss on the console. That's just yeah. the old style, old school style of new launching a new console isn't it but you see but i mean I suppose, some people go on, sorry. i was gonna say some some people have really like it's demon souls has been their thing yeah they've really they've yeah. played that a lot they've really got into that i mean for me this doesn't matter so much because i'm just playing stuff that i still had left over from ps4 so it's yeah. fine but uh yeah so i'm te- i'm tempted to play ghost of Tsushima. um oh you and, should um i'm really excited to go back and get into full guys again There'll be some full guys streams. We're sorting that out at the moment, but there's going to be some full guys streams coming up for sure. Um, uh, because that is just, I had one go of that on the PS5, and although it's exactly the same, um, and you know, the loading's not improved, obviously, because you're playing with people on the PS4. Because yeah, that's, a, that's a thing something. that's worth noting. You know, when you're playing Call of Duty or you're playing, um, like when you play FIFA online, because it's a separate thing. You know, it's the Series X version. You go into the preload screen and it lasts like two seconds and then you're in the game. Um, Whereas, like, if you're playing Call of Duty or Rocket League, you load into the game, but then it says waiting for other players because the vast majority of the people (laughs) are playing for the last gen shit yeah, monsters. Exactly. You're just like, oh, come come on. (laughs) Cheapskates. Get the fucking new thing. <laughs> I keep meaning to try. Sorry, this is a bit of a tangent, but um, uh, Monster Hunter World because I know uh, you know I, I know it's not X or S enhanced uh, or series enhanced rather, um, but apparently the load times are brilliant. Whereas I went back to it on the PS4 Pro um, last month for Kane and Rince, and fucking hell, it was bad. I mean, it's, it has bad load times anyway, but it was excruciating going from the Series S back to that. So, yeah, makes a difference. I'm pretty confident, though, uh, that I'm not going to get the next consoles when they come out. What do you mean? I'm saying that to myself now. now. We haven't seen them. (laughs) No, because, you know, I think the mid-gen consoles... Two weeks ago you said I can't wait for a PS5 Slim. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no, because I didn't think I was getting a PS5. <laughs> then, no, what 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 I'm saying is that I think I, I'm not even going to say it because I regret saying it, and I know when the new consoles come out, I'll be <laughs> like, oh, say oh anyway, God, there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get them. Fuck the mid gen consoles. I think I'm so burnt by the PS4 Pro that yeah. I just kind of think, well, what's the fucking point? But you're right, and it's not if like the and that like, didn't look like total shit. That might be yeah. tempting. Well, because you because you really liked your One X, didn't you? But then the original Xbox One was a bit pissed, exactly the so One X was so a, bad. Yeah. Was a brilliant mid gen upgrade. Yeah. It totally changed it for me. Whereas the PS4 yeah, but the Pro Series was, X is mm. really solid. Yeah, true. Do you know what I mean? So the next jump, I don't know. Who cares? We imagine that uh, about eight K and smaller. I think we we have no <laughs> idea yet. Like about any, it's like this is a long way away. I call this. I mean, yeah, we should, yeah, we should not be right. having I'm this a, conversation. It's a stupid like... statement, David. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm being an idiot. I'm being an idiot. But anyway, ultimately, overall, I thought I'd have a lot more buyer's remorse or be a lot un- more underwhelmed with a PS5 than I have been. And I must say, for the past week, I've been really enjoying booting it up every time. Every time I've enjoyed booting that up, it's really good. Um, so I'm I'm really happy with it so far uh yeah good stuff good stuff some good games man that fucking miles morales is so good i can't wait yeah, to... it's, it's did class. you did you see you finished it right you blitzed through it yeah Matt. yeah yeah i'm yeah, glad yeah, you finally on, on the pod that. it's just me and james we, we talked about that mm-hmm. that's right Point that's why i don't remember i heard it um skipping it and going <laughs> scanning through it scrolling uh yeah so i'm 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 looking forward to the stuff they got to announce and i'm sure they've got more stuff to announce this year it can't just oh, be yeah, of course yeah horizon can it does um which i'm not i mean massively I know the no, but uh well, yeah but it do, does um like the pads and and the like haptics and stuff does that in any way make you think well i'm part of me is tempted to get a playstation version of this particular game because no, I'm interested to see what the the, the pad will do. No? We don't know that I've until got, I've got... something happens. Is you know whether if there is 
it, it re- is, I think it's it's a case by case basis, isn't it? If there's something where you know, not it, for me, re- where it really is amazing. No, if if it's single player, Dave, like if it's something which is really amazing, that single player and it's like okay, the pad really does make a big difference. Why would you not go with that? Yeah, then that's what I'm saying. So for me, in my head, the pad doesn't sway my decision for what games I'm going to play on my PS5 and what games I'm going to play on my my Xbox. Mm-hmm. Um, I think even for single player, I'd be more likely to get on it, Xbox because we game share, James, and it means that you know true. we'll get to talk about those. Ga- I like playing games and talking to you while I'm playing mm-hmm. them, and I know that means that I'm buying a game and gifting it to you, and you'll just go and buy it on the PS5 anyway. Yeah, yeah, obviously, but, yeah. Uh, the fault's there. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, so I think the majority of the games that I'm going to buy, there's in my head, there's definitely games I'll play on the PS5 and games I'll play on the Xbox, and that's not going to be swayed by the the um, the controller in any way. I don't think because ultimately, I I I find that Xbox controller more comfortable. I just do. Right, well, even going back to it this week to play some Rocket League and stuff like that, I find it more comfortable. I like the cooler shit that the PS5 pad does, definitely. Um, but it's not going to make me go, oh, I wish this had haptic feedback. Um, and, you know, if Microsoft bought out a haptic feedback pad, then, yeah, I'd be bang up for that. I, I think that's the way forward. It's definitely the future. I've seen a lot of people talk about that, but, like, it'll be, that, I mean, it'll be pointless because the reason it works on PlayStation is because, you know, every single owner has this. And we still haven't even seen... You know, six months time down the line, or years down a year down the line, we don't know if even all devs will even bother. I mean, look at Spider-Man Miles Morales has barely really any haptic stuff, or it's yeah. very it's so subtle. It's like obviously nothing compared to what is an Astrobot. So imagine, so it could be two years down the line on PlayStation, and maybe not every dev is going to bother really putting the all the work into making a haptic really sing. And whereas yeah, but what, for me, like, even buy, the get standard... another pad in a couple of years time on Xbox where yeah. only a small percentage of the owners will actually have it. It's just Because for me, even, even the likely. standard rumble stuff, and I said this on the Switch as well, even the standard rumble stuff feels so much better than the old school version. You know, you, you, with the spinning motors and stuff. Like you go back and play a game with like the, yeah, I'll go back and play an Xbox game. And it's just like, mm, okay, great. Like, you go back and play a game. You play Lila Wars on the N64, and that Rumble <laughs> Pack it's just not as good. It's just not as good as the. Uh, it was pretty weak. Like, looking back on it, that was weird. Yeah, to be fair, that was weird. <laughs> you want Rumble? Buy this thing and plug it into the back of your pad. But I want my memory card in there. Don't worry about that. Tough. Don't shit. worry about the memory card. Maybe <laughs> Make a choice. Switch that out. <laughs> Dream, Dreamcast <laughs> make two slots in your controller. It's the future. Exactly. It, the, the N64 the Rumble Pack, though, was still better than the, uh, the PlayStation 1 and the Dreamcast 1. I would maintain that, even though it was really heavy. All right. It's still phony. If only there was a way to check. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, I'm very surprised by how much we've all been enjoying it, apart from Joe. That has not surprised yeah. me how much he hates the thing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, fair enough. That's it. That's my PlayStation 5 experience. Oh, fucking hell. We've been going for a long time now, haven't we? Should we get on to questions? It's like, well, there's only three questions, so it should be all right. Um, I Good. am very tired. Um, that's not a dig. I just, I had, I had hardly any sleep last night, so if I'm, yeah, if I'm a bit weird. Ooh, probably shagging. Yeah. Um, yep, absolutely. <laughs> uh, you went to the cinema last night, did you, Sean? Hey, <laughs> spoilers. Spoilers, <laughs> Dave. That's a reference. That's a reference. You know, if you want to send us a question. Up. Go to tcgs.co forward slash dear tcgs. Someone who's done that is MD Krabuffs. He says, if you had a family business, what would it be? Is that <laughs> is this for the whole show? Like for all of us? Or is this individually? What do you mean? No, what is it? What, are we show. a family? Well, we're a family. No. Basically. You're, you're a family to me. Are we like one of <laughs> those like one of that one of those companies that's like, no, we're not we're not really a business, we're more like a family. Yeah? But also, you fucking sound. We're, we're, we're definitely we're, not. We're definitely not business. one of those companies. What, no what, what would the order be? We're like, because I mean, it's got to sound right. It's not really about hierarchy. I've got a feeling like, if we were a family business, we'd be content providers, guys. Yeah, yeah. We do <laughs> <Guilty>. a podcast, <laughs> streaming. Yeah. Okay, bonus shows. So 
<laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, bonus shows. Okay, that's correct. Before we go into a different, um, different line of work, Jesus though. Christ. Uh, right. Okay. So my family business would obviously be buying and selling dodgy products at a local market. Right. That's that's the same. Why is that, that obvious? Why is that? <laughs> because we're because we're basically the Trotter family. <laughs> sure, <laughs> is what I was going for. Um, I don't know. My dad. My dad spent his life fixing fridges, so maybe that would be. That would be my family business. <laughs> we well, see. I mean, my dad's a tree surgeon, and I'm rubbish with most like physical stuff. Yeah, you'd be handing the tools, up, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I'd just, I'll going, stand at the bottom of the tree. What do you want yeah. next, Dad? Is this get, the right get, kind get, of saw? No, uh, it's not. Get, get the grubble saw. No, no, that, that's not the grubble saw. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like life is strange. Can you round the back of the head? Yeah, it's true. It's definitely a scene from Life is Strange. Hmm. So, what would you be then? I find no idea. Family business. Like, I mean, me and my brother are both okay. nerds, right? And, fixing and, computers. For, yeah, yeah. Me, yeah, me and my brother just get into, yeah, just get into fixing yeah, oh, people's and the IT, shitty laptops. Yeah, one of those, like, third-party IT companies yeah, 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 for smaller yeah. businesses. Oh, I yeah. did that. You bring I them did up. that for years. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? So what? What, it's your own business? What? Not as my own business, no. I work for Farley and Son. I work for Farley and Son. that game, actually, yeah. I mean. <laughs> we were known as Intel. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> look them up. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, fixing Intel PCs inside. and d- deleting malware from people's laptops and shit. That'd be that'd be good. James, I imagine your family would be a mixture of Tomb Raider and uh, Uncharted. <laughs> You'd be going out, <laughs> that scaling me. the globe for artifacts together. That would suit that me. That would be a great family business. There was there was some good <laughs> things from doing the IT stuff though, because I remember once I went to someone's house. It was like it was basically because we we did we went to people. Yeah, that sounds good these great days. Story, doesn't it? <laughs> no, no, it, was, there was no, it is kids. a great story these days. No, you went to someone's house. Wow, wow, what was, what it, was like? it like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, James. Go on. So you remember like when okay when like broadband first came around and people like lots of people were starting to get were starting to get internet and everything and but mm-hmm. people weren't really like they were still using like windows 98 and stuff yeah. and so computers used to come to like a grinding halt you know because of um you know because of all the porn and everything they downloaded and i remember <laughs> i remember one time we went over this we went to this person's house and it was like a kid and it's his computer but his mum was like okay it just doesn't work and so we sat down and looked at it and we're like, okay, well, there's quite a lot of problems here. You know, we, we looked at it and it was basically just because it was filled with porn and like dialers and all that kind of thing because of it. <laughs> and it was it was pretty funny because this woman, she just stood there behind us looking at it and like, oh, no. we were like, we're going to have to get rid of that and get rid of that. And she just looked like her face. She just looked absolutely furious <laughs> staring at her son. It was just like, it was. Oh it, no! It was it there. It was in the corner. It was incredibly Rained. awkward, and I loved it. It was. It was oh it my was, god! <laughs> it was brilliant. You turn to the sun and like say, that. "Like, look, we don't, we don't have to delete all of this, but you, so you're gonna have to pick and choose what you really need to keep. <laughs> what can you live without? You know, yeah. But yeah, it was just, just like just, all the dialers. You know, those things where it used to like yeah. call in a premium rate number and that kind of thing. <laughs> Fucking hell! I had a situation like that where. Um, uh, I was, oh God, it was must have been really early on. And a friend of my dad's bought a scanner for his computer mm. and couldn't get it to work. So my dad went, my, my son's a nerd. I'll bring him over one night and I, I, he might be able to fix it. So I sat, I must have been 14, maybe 13. And I sat down at his computer and I looked at um, the property or the devices or whatever it was, the option back then. And I noticed that it had the big exclamation mark next to USB device or whatever it was, <laughs> or connected device. And I thought, oh, it hasn't got a driver. Mm. I said, did it come with a CD? Yeah, there it is. So put the CD in, installed the driver, and it worked instantly, right? And I swear to God, my dad and the blokes who owned the thing, it was as if I'd pulled up like this hacking program <laughs> and broken into the White House or something. Because they were like, what the fuck? How the fuck did you even do that? <laughs> yeah, it was just weird how little people knew about computers back then. Yeah. It's bizarre. And most of them haven't uh, learned anything. It's just that that all, like, they've just, like, you know, Microsoft and whoever are just better at hiding the wiring now, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Things have got a lot that, simpler. Do you get that as well, Sean? That that sort of burning in your chest when you're trying to help someone but who clearly doesn't know anything about technology. 
I that get sort it of like quite a lot. Yeah, that rage. It's it starts in the chest, and you just <laughs> it feels as though you're struggling to breathe for two seconds. Where they're talking at you yeah. as if they think they know what the problem is, and you just want to burst and go. You don't know fucking anything. Just shut the fuck <laughs> up and let me fix it. Well, because it's it, for me. It's I, I don't know if you guys get this when you're doing like nerd shit. It's almost like pretty much everything I you know, do, it's, when, when I'm, whenever I'm thinking stuff, it's all verbal, right? You know, some people yeah. are like visual thinkers, some are verbal, whatever. But when it comes to computer stuff, the, the words stop and it's just, it's like an understanding sort of beyond. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, words. matrix. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so when you're trying to talk to someone about, like trying to fix a problem and trying to explain to them what you've done or what they've done wrong, and I'm like, I've, I've got to put it into words that I understand and then sort of filter that down into a way that a normal person can understand it. <laughs> yeah, and it's no, just, yeah. it, the, the effort of that absolutely does me in. The worst is when they blame the computer. And, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes you can fully blame a computer. Sometimes you could do that. Yeah, yeah. Not in this instance. You <laughs> fucked it. Like, that's, well, you, that, we use the it. worst thing is when they say stuff like, oh, it's just gone or something like that. It's like, no, yeah, 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 yeah. that's not possible. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. you, you it pressed works. a series yeah. of keys that made that happen. There used to be a woman who worked in um, our office and several of my friends listening to this will now be going, oh, good, he's going to tell a story about Ange. Um, <laughs> she, oh, she was lovely, but my God... She never, just, she should never have been allowed near a computer. So yeah, about once a week, you just hear her go like, "Oh, wow's it done that?" And yeah, and she'd have just deleted everything she was working on and not saved it or whatever. And you just like, yeah, like time, closed it and accidentally hit no. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's exactly. Like, hit cancel. Can you get Do that? Not hit yes can you get that no. back for me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can you get that back for me? Well, no, you. No. It specifically asked if you wanted to save it. You said no. You do not want to save it. One time. Oh, there must be a way of getting this back. I haven't lost all of this. Yeah, you <laughs> told it to lose it. You told it that. <laughs> Fucking one hell, it's just gone. It's just gone. One time Matt, she called me over. Business? Oh, no. sorry, go on. Go on it was go, one go, time go. she called me over and she was like, what's it doing? I'm, and I, oh, she's like, I'm typing stuff and it's not typing anything. Why isn't it working? Not plugged and in, keyboard. No, better than that. She was in Word, and she had set <laughs> the text colour to white. Huh. <laughs> and it was like, we, we did that to someone's computer once, where the, the crosshair in AutoCAD, we sent it, set it to black. You can't do it anymore, but we set it to black, and it's a black background. So <laughs> they literally stripped the computer. Because the IT department, right, yeah. mm-hmm. they know about computers, but they don't know about AutoCAD, that very specific <laughs> programme. So they stripped the computer because they thought it was a problem with the fucking Jesus. graphics card. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. And, and no one admitted that you changed the crosshair. Hell no. You, you shut the fuck up when it gets that serious in a company. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> and <laughs> so you just let it happen. Yeah, um, brilliant. Matt, what was your family business? Uh, I'm going to go bakery. Okay. Oh, yes, mate. Uh, next question. Have you been in a bakery where there's been like riled up customers? Yes. Probably not. No. It feels like village... Bakery, people be happy to see a uh, nice smell. Go in, yeah. Good point. Yeah, but the staff have all been there since three a.m. Uh, yeah, not in my bakery. They won't. Okay, so none of your produce will be fresh. Is that what you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, well, I'll, I'll nip down to Greg's. Okay. <laughs> Greg's I'm reseller. Saying, oh, look at That's what you are. You're not a baker. You're a reseller. <laughs> <laughs> in, in a way, I mean, there's still baked goods on one premises. <laughs> okay. All right. Then. Here we go. <sighs> What's what are we doing? Maria Mendia says, "Dear TCGS Komodo dragons, which I like, but it's 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 ko not co." So Ooh, I don't, I don't that's know fine. if that's, 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 that's cool. embarrassing. That one, yes, yeah. Uh, Matt and James have frequently been called out for using help to get them through games. Matt looks <laughs> up walkthroughs while James tend to Google answers to quiz shows. In honor, of, in honor of Nintendo's retired tips and tricks hotline, what would be the hottest tip you could have offered a young caller had you been in charge of answering the phone? I imagine James is already furiously tapping away at DuckDuckGo to find that infamous Tomb Raider <laughs> cheat code. <laughs> Wait, hold on. It depends on the game, right? What question is this? Um, I, I just took it as what's what's your favourite cheat? Um, oh, what's your favourite well, cheat? The, the, the obvious one, it's, it's up, down, left, right, A and start for Sonic. No, no, no. Uh, for me, it's all of the finishing, the fatalities in Mortal Kombat 2. Yes. Any, yeah, any kid would think you were cool if, as fuck for knowing those. Yeah, man. Just having them all printed out and stuff. Well, how, I used how to, to do turn that the red kid. blood on and then how to, yeah. yeah I like, sure. I like the Sonic 2 one. 
like for level select and all that. I can still remember. Oh, yeah. it. Was it like Do upsy, you... downsy, lefty, right? No, no, no it was. Is it that it's one? 1965, 917. Like you had to type it in the sound test thing, and then it yeah. accessed right. that. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Nice. Do you remember? Do you remember the the cheat for the Game Gear? No. You had to uh, press get, get, a... get, get good batteries. Am I yeah. right? Yeah. Hey. No, the, the, the Game Gear version of Sonic Two, you had to press a combination of buttons just as Tails winked. It was really weird. Oh, Just yeah. as Tails winked in the main thing, you press the buttons and then you got into level select. And now that, uh, now that we're on the subject, who's Tails winking at and why? What's that about? You, because he's fast. Yeah, sure. Is that? You, did you, you just want that? Make, I, I mean, now you put it like that, it makes perfect sense. What what <laughs> cheat is upsy downsy lefty rightsy? That that's is that not Sonic? Yeah, that's that's, that's for the sound test. Not for the, you know, like with Sonic, the original Sonic, What's you could do you can, put, you can put items in level, couldn't you? Is yeah, that, that, that's the one. Yeah, you could do that with yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've also just looked up those numbers that I could remember, and it turns out that it's Yuji Naka's uh, date of birth. That's why they use. I was going to say, was it a thing. date? Yeah, yeah it's his date of birth. So, yeah. Also, well done, my Yuji. Um, uh, I played a lot of lemmings in school. I mean, also educating, but also at lunchtime, a lot of lemmings. And my f- uh, the favourite level kind of password was Double Duck. I remember me and my, me and my friend Martin Day played a lot of lemmings. And um, and Double no, Duck was always a... got to say the surname. I know. <laughs> Double, <laughs> just... <laughs> Double Duck was a great a, a great. Someone level. else, everyone can look up on Facebook if they <laughs> so wish. <laughs> Martin Day, mutual friends, Matt Morley, yeah. Matt Murray. <laughs> It's great. I, I mean, I think at least once a week I name someone I know. It's Can great. we bring him to the the um the light next light like the first live show back? Can we just have a parade of the people? That would be fucking incredible. Can they do it? the live like, show? Instead and of us. now on stage, Matt Morley <laughs> in his full military featuring gear. Matt Day or what is it? <laughs> Martin Day. Martin uh, Day. My yeah, favorite to Martin Day. My favorite cheats. Uh, Syndicate Wars on the PC. If you want to unlock the cheat mode. You have to enter your call sign as Poo Slice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's someone's gamer tag now because of that. Oh, 100%. Guarantee it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also the blood code for Mortal Kombat on the Mega Drive, you know, so that mm. you could enable the blood. That was good. Oh, did, did, about, did, did, did mention that earlier. Did you? But, <laughs> what what about Dynamite <laughs> Ducks? That was a weird one, wasn't it? Dynamite Ducks. What was the cheat for that? You, you put in a code at the start and then the woman just had her boobs out in the oh. main menu. Didn't know that. Different oh. times, the different times, time. different different needs. For, uh, nice, Last uh, question, quick one to finish us off. Oh, that's no, that's oh, no, bad. It's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Walters says, "What do you think of the Nintendo's you big? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the Nintendo's big Christmas 2021 game? <laughs> Skyward Sword it? HD. Um, no, there's, there's <laughs> got to be something else." Too, Surely nah, that's, that's not what, coming out until next joking? year. You think that's coming out this year? <laughs> All right, Matt. They said they were going to talk about it Wake in the year, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, talk about yeah, it. Well, a trailer. If, yeah, what's it going to be? The fucking golf game, is if, it? If we're in the Wii U cycle, Possibly. in the sense of like mid cycle where they've given up, it's going to be like an, <laughs> another Kirby game or a Yoshi game. It's, oh, that's, yeah. yeah, you're probably yeah. right. Now, I well, reckon it'll be uh, Skyrim with Mario shit in it. With Mario oh. shitting, yes. Yeah. I mean, it will sell. Well, okay. And a dragon's head, uh, not on the head. Neither, okay, neither. not on the head. Uh, I I reckon uh, it it will be it will we won't be Skyward Sword, but it will be another Zelda re-release. They'll just think, yeah. oh, what, what should we do? Oh, Wind Waker done. Yep. I, I genuinely reckon it will be Merry another Zelda re-release. That'll fucking be it. Christmas. Uh, that's not Zelda. What's going on with Bomberman now? Uh, it's on they stadium. Out, they? It's on the stadium. Oh well, so doing doing good then. It was yep, doing yep, good. Yep, yeah. yep, 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 yep. Right, okay, right, we're done. We're done. Why not? We are done. Let's get onto socials, Matt. Yes, this Thursday, Sean, are you streaming? Um, yeah, yeah, I am. Sorry, yeah, last week Isaac was a fucking nightmare again. He didn't go to sleep till ten o'clock. My so word. assuming he can just. Uh, oh no, shit! Sorry, I just remembered. This Thursday is minor news anniversary, so. Probably not, eh? Well, that's Probably unfortunate not. for new because you're streaming from nine. <laughs> I'll figure Post-string. out another evening. I might okay. do Thursday. I might take Thursday. We'll see. Come on, I okay. Well, Thursday, Thursday there'll be a stream, maybe. I want to do, do, do that. 
Yeah, for, Four Girls on Thursday with David. And then Friday at nine, James is back on for Hitman 3. Uh, you're still loving that game, aren't you, James? It is great, yeah. I'm having a lot of fun with that game. It's good. If you missed oh, James's previous hell. ones, they're on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash tcgsco. And um, maybe there'll be a fishing stream, maybe not. But Friday, Friday at nine is the guarantee one. Uh, but <laughs> everything if, if else, you want to know when, when we're streaming, just go to our Twitch channel and, um, you know, follow us and that. Sorry, but you guys say something, someone? No, I think I don't think we're good. Okay. Uh, yeah. But if you're Amazon Prime, you've got Twitch Prime Gaming in which you get one free sub every month. Please go over to our channel, search us on Twitch and, and give us your free sub. We really massively appreciate it. Obviously, we're on Patreon, patreon.com slash TCGS. And we've just recently released our monthly bonus show, which is uh, good to listen to, and our talks over, which is in the cuisining episode three i'm not gonna say anything else about that um and we've got a website tcgs.co where there's a store to get tcgs merch and the rest of our social links and all the usual bits uh right cool sorry just got back from the toilet um right uh, um thank you so much for living it um, i'm gonna be finished in a minute did you really have I to mean, go you, you couldn't wait yeah. i did really need to go up and drink a beer tonight and okay. it goes right through me sean yeah, um no. <laughs> okay. you missed all the social david <laughs> Oh no! Can you do them again? No, come on, uh, yes, we, uh, we, we, yeah. <laughs> we'll catch you next week. Thank you so much for living it. We will uh, hope you have a good week. We love you all. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye bye.